All right, welcome in, welcome in. Give me one second, I gotta finish typing a note here. <clears throat> All right, well, this is the day we've been waiting for. <clears throat> we have a busy schedule. We have the... Um, What's up, Rocky Top? We have the last week of scouting, so I'll get to pick one more guy, hitter and pitcher, to scout here on this day, on the 6th. And then we'll draft on the 13th. And then once the draft is over, I don't think we'll have anybody in the Home Run Derby, so we'll be simming through that. And then it will become signing our draft picks. And uh, the trade deadline. <clears throat> And I put a note over on my Discord last night. I don't know how many people saw it or not, but I said, <clears throat> in addition to finding out if we get this uh, generational pitcher to fall to us at seven or not, I was going through trade possibilities last night. And um, I have one that I, I still haven't decided if I'm going to do or not. I'm kind of excited to do it, but I'm not sure. I should or want to, but it would be a huge blockbuster, and it does not involve pitchers. It's just position players. And uh, Rocky, tell me what you think of this trade. Goldschmidt, Newt Barr, and Carlson. <clears throat> and you can see that trade value bar is way over there to the right, right? <clears throat> What do you think of that? What do you think of that? <laughs> we could get Fernando Tatis Jr. We'd be giving them a starting right fielder, a starting center fielder, and the rest of Goldschmidt, and we get Fernando. He's only got eight home runs this year. His slugging's a bit down. And look at this contract. It's, it's very affordable all the way through to the end. We won't be playing in those last four years at least. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, there's no way we'll reach 2031. We're not going to play it that long, I don't think. At some point... We'll stop this and we'll start a new one. <clears throat> but this is the kind of deal that the Cardinals do. Actually, we fleece people. Ask Colorado and Arizona what we gave up for Goldschmidt and Arnado. Um, Cardinals usually don't sign free agents, big-time free agents. Usually. They did sign Sonny Gray. It cost us a second-round pick. But this is what we do. We trade for guys in their prime so he can play second short third and all three outfield spots and his defense means he can play center field <clears throat> and if victor scott ever hits then tatis is in right and scott's in center and nothing hits the ground on that half that two-thirds of the outfield and we could get by with Walker and left or somebody else in left with Walker at first. But that, that is the trade that I discovered last night. Um, the other trades that I had looked at, and some of these don't work anymore because of we've progressed another month into the season and they don't want to make these deals anymore. <clears throat> We could make we could have made this one. I don't think they'll give us those two pitchers for those three guys. Um, that would be ridiculously good for us, but I don't think that's going to happen. Um, Goldschmidt and Carlson for Josh Naylor, Tanner Bybee, and Nick Sandlin. And nowadays, I might have to toss in a very low-level prospect to make this one work. So this is the one that I wanted to make. Because the Guardians actually have Naylor on the trade block. 
<clears throat> Sandlin just crushes in this game with this card this year. And Bybee's a good, yeah, he's only 25. He's in, he's in the high 70s and he's in a B. Maybe low A, low, low, low 80s, high 70s. Can't remember what he is. Um, Naylor would just, the problem with Naylor is he hits left handed. We had, we would have too many left handed bats in the lineup with Gorman and Donovan and switch hitter and, um, and then you throw in Naylor, and then we got Edmund. Um, so anyway, that was that was the trade I really wanted to do. This one right here. Um, Riley Green was another one. Uh, this was this is uh, this is not bad either. A shitty starting pitcher in Goldschmidt for Ford Wu and a, a 19-year-old prospect outfielder. So I have I have two trades, two trades the uh, Mariners and the Indians, and if you look at their stats, Guardians Indians same fucking difference. Guardians are sixteen and a half games out; they're not winning their division. Mariners are five games out of the division, and Guardians are six and a half, and the Mariners are six and a half. So they're really not in the playoff race at this point. So trading with those two teams would not be unrealistic. <clears throat> Pardon me. Got a lot of science drainage today, so I'm going to be coughing a lot. And the Padres are 30 games under 500. They're 28 and a half behind the Dodgers. And they're in last place in the National League. So I'm trading with teams that are not making the playoffs. So what do you think, Rocky? Trade for Tatis or make that huge trade with Cleveland or Seattle? Let me go back in here and look at this. <clears throat> Let's see. He's 25 and he's an 80. He's a 76. Not, not Bo. Where's the other nailer? You could trade for Manzardo instead. He's 23, but he's only a 70. Josh Naylor. All right, so if we trade Goldschmidt and Carlson, and Drew Rahm, Connor Thomas, <clears throat> we can make that deal. <clears throat> Gives us a stud pitcher in our rotation, it's only 25. Gives us a first base replacement for Goldschmidt so we can still play Donovan all around. And gets us a really good, really good relief pitcher. <clears throat> Alright, so that is that. And if we go to the Mariners. I really want Brian Wu instead. Harry Ford. And Lazaro Montes. We're actually overpaying for that one. We don't even have to give up pitcher for that. <clears throat> so, that is that. The other trade gives us better pieces right away. So, I'm thinking I can maybe trade for Brian Wu in the offseason. Um, but... Let me go back to this trade and show you what their ratings are. I really want to make this deal, but I also, the splash trade for Tatis. So there, look, he's got eight, almost 90 on both left and right contact. His power is less, 64-58. Great vision, excellent clutch. So Naylor's going to be driving in guys that are on, uh, and then his clutch isn't, that much higher than what he already is. All right. And he is arbitration eligible and then free agent. So we'd have to sign him to a contract. Okay. Um, Tanner Bybee. He's good. So he actually regressed a little bit this year. He's only one year in. So he's just had a tough year. It's his home runs allowed. He's not striking out as many guys. Um, pitching clutch is still really, really good, which is important for starting pitchers. 
I would still take him. He's, he's a good pitcher. And he's renewable, renewable, arbitration, arbitration. So we don't have to worry about losing him as a free agent. And uh, Sandlin, he's actually going up. Yeah, 230 ERA, 27 hits, 9 walks, 25 strikeouts in 30 innings. Got 5 saves and 12 holds. And he's in the same situation as Bybee. He's, we don't, we're not going to lose him. So these three guys we would keep for a long time. So the difference in these two trades, though, is we have to give up Newt Bar to get Tatis. And we don't have to give up Newt Bar to make this deal. <clears throat> so that would leave a left-handed bat in the lineup. Still wouldn't really solve the outfield situation, but it would give us our first baseman. Um, so we have time. We'll, we'll get through, to, it's at the very end of the stream, we have the trade deadline, and then we get to reveal what our ratings are on our draft picks. <clears throat> so we're going to sit on this till the end of the month and see what happens. There was two guys on the Padres I was really interested in, too. They're prospects, but they're both injured, and they're not going to be back before the trade deadline, so I can't trade for them. Um, I did make a couple of trades off-camera. Um, you can see at the uh, end of the last stream, we traded for Joe Barlow to uh, help out the bullpen. And then off camera, I traded Josh Baez, who was a young center fielder buried deep in our depth chart, and a low prospect, Sem Rovers, to Toronto for Orelvis Martinez. Um, young third baseman. So now we have somebody behind um, Arenado at third base. He's not stupid young. I mean, he's in his early 20s, mid to towards his mid 20s, 23, something like that. So, um, and then I also traded Matt Carpenter to the Rockies for first baseman Michael Tolia. So Tolia could play first base if we trade for Tatis. Let me show you those guys. So here's Tully. He's 25. He's 63 overall, but he's a B potential. Switch hitter. Um, he's kind of at, at 25. If he was 21, that would be okay. But he's depth. He's, he's depth is what he is. Um, and then Martinez at third base. He's just kind of middling on his hitting. Decent. He's kind of decent across the board, but he's 22 years old. And he's an A potential. So even if we don't ever use him, we can trade him and he'll have a lot of value. Because actually his potential went up. It was a B. <clears throat> so anyway, that's where we are on the trade front. We'll get to those other trades later. And now we need to get into the draft. So I'm thinking... Um, Instead of playing a whole lot of individual, like playing two full games today, maybe only play one full game and we do um, player lock on some guys so we can just get more action but not have to play a full game um, and and do it that way because I'm really, I'm exhausted. I had a five set match last night for high school that was a lot of fun, but I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired and... That was my fifth day in a row. I've got four more days to go. And I've got 13 matches over the weekend coming up. So, anyway. Fix the lineup. Oh, there we go. So, Sonny Gray, Jared Jones. Let's, let's, uh, let's player lock on this. <clears throat> and I'm going to player lock... Pardon me, Nolan Gorman, because he's dh so we don't have to play defense. <clears throat> um, I'm hoping I fixed my echo sound in the game. Um, you know how you're getting echoes? We'll find out here in a minute once it starts playing. I, I think I fixed it, but I'm not sure.
I think we were getting sound from my controller and through the capture card, both. We'll find out here in a minute. All right, two on, two out. Hey, no echo. I think that was the problem. I think you were hearing echo uh, sound coming through my controller and the capture card. Oh, nasty pitch. I think we fixed it. I had to go into PlayStation and turn that shit off. What's up, Rolla? Ah, get down. <clears throat> Fan cam, hey. I wish they'd let you have better views of all the Major League Parks so I could like go around and see how they're made so when I go make my own ballpark, I have a better idea. <clears throat> all right, Nolan. Getting runners on base all day today. I don't know if you guys didn't hear, OJ passed away from cancer today. As someone who lived through that whole fiasco, that fucker was guilty of sin. The only time I ever dropped an F-bomb on my grandmother was her saying some stupid shit about OJ. <laughs> I said, are you fucking crazy? Ah, blew it right by me. Let's go. Oh, we got all of that one. Two-run shot from Gorman. Adios, Pelota. Get up, baby. Get up. Get up. Went down and got that one. <clears throat> yeah, exactly, Rocky. That was a crime of uh, rage and passion. And usually random stranger strangers... Um, aren't uh, that violent like that. <laughs> I mean, he almost cut his wife's head off, so. Ooh. Oh, through the hole, there we go. Got to get his average up. <laughs> get his average up. We need We need him to hit well so his... Contact goes up. I went through all my training and uh, reassigned a few of them, but mostly pitchers were just putting it all into their per nines, and the hitters were looking at vision, discipline, clutch, um, or their contact power, depending on what they're deficient at. But it's mostly vision, discipline, and clutch, or yeah, vision, discipline, and clutch for hitters. Per nines for the for the. Uh, Pitchers. Even the relievers. We got plenty of guys with good clutch in the bullpen. Ooh. Look terrible on that one, Wilson. Come on. <clears throat> we got one out. And two outs. Prediction of National League Central? I think the Cubs are going to win. I even said that last stream. I don't think the Brewers are going to win, but... I don't think the Brewers have enough pitching. Um, Cardinals are too inconsistent. Yeah, I'd love for us to uh, to win. Um, we have a baby back manager. I hate that motherfucker. Cannot stand him. He's over his head, man. <clears throat> And the Cubs have a owner that has deeper pockets. Well, the Cardinals have the, the owner with the deepest pockets in the division, but we don't fucking spend um, where we need to. We need to spend in two places. Starting staff and player development because we have fallen off on player development. Guys get hurt, play like crap here, they go elsewhere, and they become studs. Nice pitch. Um... 
Rosarena, Adolis Garcia, Tyler O'Neill. We just we have a problem. We have a very big organizational problem, and they haven't fixed it. They won't fix it till we get rid of our fucking GM because he's a piece of shit. He's an arrogant. He's he's very arrogant. All right, Newbar, three for four with five RBIs. He hit two home runs. Gorman, two hits and two RBIs. Mason win. He's not going to make that many errors. I don't know why this game makes him make so many errors. Yeah. I hey, I give Cubs trouble all the time because that's my job as a Cardinal fan. And the, the Mets were more of a heated rival in the 80s than the Cards and Cubs have ever been. We're just a, a geographical rival. Um, and they they rarely have been in contention for us to have a big, you know, knockdown drag out rivalry. It's just been one of those it's not like the Blues and Blackhawks. <laughs> but it's not like Blues and Blackhawks at all. That's why we call the Cubs lovable losers, right? I watched a lot of their games when I was in high school because we had uh, WGN, both the Braves and the Cubs, because they're on the, the two super stations. So that was the only games we could see. I actually watched their games more than our own team because the Cardinals weren't on TV that much back then. Kittrich is back. All right, no injury there. Kyle Gibson, let's uh, let's player lock in this one too. We're gonna do we're gonna do a lot of player locks today because I don't feel like playing a whole bunch of real, full games. Um, let's do Jordan Walker. I want to. I want to get uh, more playing time with the guys that are actually going to be here. <clears throat> I uh, in 1982, that was the start of my senior year of high school. So that's how old I am. Um, that summer, before I started my senior year, we went on a, a road trip. We went to uh, South Carolina and Atlanta, and we stopped at the World's Fair in Knoxville, Tennessee on the way home. And when we were in Atlanta, we went to a Braves-Cardinals game at uh, Fulton County Stadium. Yeah, Strider, I'm not surprised with these guys they, as hard as they throw all the time. When they, when they decided to finally back off the velocity and just throw good pitches in good spots and use your, use your uh, velocity when you need it, not every pitch. It's not from curveballs. It's 100% from throwing max effort. So you're going to see a lot more guys go down because they're throwing max effort. <clears throat> they don't need to throw that hard all the time. It sucks for baseball. It sucks for baseball because you have one of the best pitchers in the game out for the year, and he's probably out for half of next year too, right? <clears throat> but I saw the Cardinals and Braves play in Fulton County Stadium. One of the Braves outfielders, I think it was named Terry Harper, threw his shoulder out waving a guy home at home plate, dislocated and separated his shoulder. <laughs> Had to leave the game. What was this weirdest? One of the weirdest injuries I've ever seen. <clears throat> Back in the '90s and early 2000s, my dad had a business in Atlanta, and he had season tickets for the Braves because he would give those tickets away to customers. And the year they had the All Star Game in Atlanta, and Sammy Sosa won the Home Run Derby. My dad had tickets for those two days and didn't tell me we were going down to Florida to visit them. And I'm like, we could have taken a two-day road trip while my wife and kids just hung out at the beach with his wife. And we could have gone, because he had an apartment in Atlanta, we could have just stayed there and watched the Home Run Derby and the All-Star Game. But no, he, he gave those away. He didn't know that I would be interested. And in, I'm like, are you fucking high? <laughs> but yeah, yeah, that was my story in Fulton County was uh, Terry Harper throwing his shoulder out, waving a guy home. The stadium was, was nothing special. It was just a big circle like all the other stadiums from the 70s. Throw it. I got to forget. I always want to use my right stick to move the camera, and I don't have to because once he throws, it'll, it'll go. <clears throat> right down the line. All right, nobody out. 
we're just going to throw to the relay guy because he doesn't have great accuracy. Now I don't want to airmail. Throw the fucking ball. Jesus. R1 in, in Diamond Dynasty is throw to the relay, so that's why I hit that, and then he lays out on the ground instead of throwing the ball. I didn't want to throw the ball to the cutoff guy. Or whatever. Whatever. Ah. <clears throat> yep. Yep, they should have won a whole lot more. They should have beat the Yankees once, one of those years. That Layritz home run that year, they should have won that one. And they should have beat the Twins, too. One ball, two I fucking hated the Twins at the end of the 80s because they beat the Braves and the Cardinals. I liked Gary Gaetti and uh, Bernanski, but was not a fan of Minnes And Viola, I love Frank Viola. But was not a fan of them winning those two World Series. Come on. Come on. Oh, that's foul. <clears throat> yeah, the only World Series that I've been to was 1982. Oh, I jerked this. I pulled the controller over. I went to game six and seven of the 82 series and uh, the parade the next, day, next day. And uh, I flunked a class called Modern Novel because I didn't turn in a paper because I was going to those two World Series games in the parade the next day. That was the best F I ever le earned in my life. My dad was pissed off and I didn't give a shit. I don't, I don't care. It was the first time they'd been in the World Series my entire lifetime at that point. Um, so now that class, that F, is uh, has, has a great, has a good, me good memory, good meaning. Normally F's aren't aren't good. Ah, pulled off it. But that was that was well worth it. Oof. Yeah. Yep, yep. I don't even remember what the book was that I was supposed to write a paper on. I just remember the class. I had two of my best friends in that class. I remember the teacher. Um, I remember we had to read Stephen King's The Stand during that semester. I've read that book like four times. Get through, get through, get through. He's faster than that. <clears throat> oh, by the way, check out this. This is the St. Louis Cardinals hockey jersey that they gave away at a game last year. <clears throat> oh hey Rocky I'm going to a game in June with uh, 49er George he's going to be in town we're going to go see the Cardinals and Giants ah, already bought the tickets yesterday Braves Rangers Rangers uh, they just picked up Lorenzen too right so and they'll get to ground back at some point get Scherzer back at some point And then they got uh, Carter and Langford. Dulles is playing a little DH too. They they got they got to survive Young being hurt and keep Seeger healthy. I I love batting with Seeger. Well, if you want to see how much I love batting with Seeger, go to my YouTube page. I don't have I don't have the command in here, so I'll just drop the link. Um. Go to my Rockies playlist, and you'll see why I like Corey Seager. <laughs> Here. This is my YouTube. <clears throat> now somebody give me advice on... Uh, on the sim for their per nines, so. 
I always appreciate when people comment on my videos over there, good or bad. If you're going to dislike my video, you better fucking put a comment saying why you didn't like it. And if you like it, tell me what you like. Or tell me what you don't like so I can do something different, right? <clears throat> yeah, I have all of my different franchises and uh, NCAA dynasties and playlists. So you can just click on the playlist and watch all of them. I highly recommend you watch all my stuff on YouTube in double speed. I talk slow enough that you won't miss what I'm saying and you cut that in half. So a three-hour stream is only an hour and a half watch time. So I would highly recommend um, watch at double speed. I watch almost everything. Other than music videos, I watch everything on YouTube in double speed now. Mr. Hurricane, <laughs> I can't watch him at anything but double speed. Um, his voice sounds perfect at one and a half speed. He sounds like a professional broadcaster. I just do it at double speed so it goes faster. Um, but he talks so slow. His cadence is just, it kills me. All right. We'll just sim this game. Oh, we got a slugfest here. 12 to 10. Walker with a triple. Edmund Donovan with two home runs. Goldschmidt with a home run. Mats was okay. Zach Thompson blew. Barlow was eh. Kittredge comes off the injured list and was eh. Helsley. I moved Helsley back to closing, by the way. <clears throat> Home runs by McCutcheon, Reynolds, and Taylor. We blasted everybody but Holderman in that game. <clears throat> Damn. I'm sorry. I said earlier I got a lot of science strains going on from allergies, and I'm going to be... I'm going to have to start using my cough button a little more often. All right, so... We got to sim these two games so that I can go set our last list of guys to scout for the draft. I'll show you guys we're looking at because once I go and play this game here on the 7th, we won't be able to look at that list again until we get to the draft, which is here on the 13th. So I have a list. I have a list of guys that are broken down by early, mid, and late hitters and pitchers. Not all these guys are fully scouted, so there's some guys I might just have to take a shot in the dark at. Um, but I kind of like where their stuff is. We'll just we'll just see. Not having a second round pick is going to really hurt. We 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 are missing out on getting an additional starting pitcher by not having that pick because the Cardinals signed Sonny Gray. So once we get through the draft, then I'll play a full game. But we're gonna we're gonna do some player lock stuff until we get through this draft. So, Washington, Thad or Tad Ward, Thad Ward at Washington. What is he, is he right-handed? If he's right-handed pitcher, I'm going to do Gorman again. Where is this dude? There he is. Just kept going right by him. All right, so he's right-handed. Okay. <clears throat> uh, player lock. Let's go. All right, Donovan or Newt Bar. <clears throat> We're not trading Donnie. He's hitting 320. Newt Bar could go in that deal to get Tatis. Um, so let's go with Donovan. Plus he's leading off. Look how cold we are. Everybody's cold. I'm going to push my guy back up to the middle. I really can't find a good spot on this to put my camera. Really, it's kind of annoying. <clears throat> well, yeah, Rocky, I, uh, George hit me up on Discord and said, hey, Cardinals play the Giants on these two dates. And I'm like, uh, works for me. Which game you want to go to? And he picked Saturday, so I had to go in and get tickets yesterday. And uh, he, gets, he gets to uh, meet my wife, too. She's going to go with us. Get down. There we go. Yeah, I I am making a uh, 
conscious effort to not trade with anybody within my division, except maybe Pittsburgh, because they always trade people away. Um, definitely not trading with the Cubs and the Brewers and the Reds. Um, we are we are too uh, too much head to head, and uh, unless it's minor fringe players. Um, I'm, I won't be trading with those teams. Get back to the track. Yeah, he wouldn't have made that. I wanted to draw a throw. <clears throat> All right, one down. Red Sox guy. There's a really good prospect on the Brewers that throws... Absolute gas. We're going to go to third on this one. This field reminds me of the artificial turf infields that we used to play on when my son was younger, playing uh, select baseball. Both the uh, dirt path and the grass were all AstroTurf, and they were just different colors. And that's what this field reminds me of. It looks like it's an all AstroTurf field. Miles Michaelis. He's got to get that ERA down. All right. Nobody on two out. There we go. Oh, chased it. Any more patience. They just want to hit, hit, hit. Kind of like Tony Gwynn. Just want to hit line drives, and I don't want to draw walks. Got all that one. Mm. Can't fault me. Both those pitches were in the strike zone. That first one was just barely in, though. All right, let's go. If you guys want a really good utility player that's going to hit 300 in the sim, I would go trade for Donovan in your franchises. He's not going to hit for a lot of power, but he can play good defense everywhere except he doesn't play catcher. But all the other spots in the infield and outfield he can do, including center field and shortstop, and uh, great contact. Bet if I put him on the Rockies, he'd, he'd hit 20 bombs, though. All right, we're going to sit up and in. And I'm left-handed batter. This is where I want the ball, right here. I didn't want that. That was a ground ball to third base. I want it right here. I can drive the ball right here off lefties. Yeah, and then I chased that shit. Yeah, I want lefties to throw it up and in on me. No, I did not swing. That's such a bad animation. That was not a swing. <clears throat> Lane Thomas, another outfielder the Cardinals traded away. So Rosarena, Garcia, Lane Thomas, Tyler O'Neill. We were too cheap and didn't sign Luis Robert, Luis Robert, Robert. We didn't want to pay him, I don't know. $2 million signing thing or whatever when he was a international free agent. And we could have signed Tatis and we're, we cheaped out on him because his dad used to play for the Cardinals. We could have had Tatis the whole time in our organization. Yeah, you get the win. We keep winning, we're, we're going to have to uh, um, 
Rocky, if I make a deal for Tatis, we're going to have to get another player. We're going to have to make another trade. Well, actually, what I'll do is I'll sign Brandon Belt and Tommy Pham, and they'll platoon at DH is what they'll do. Those two guys, one hits lefties, one hits righties. We'll just sign both of them because we're going to be down two guys on our roster. And we'll, uh, we will um, let those guys platoon at DH. Because <clears throat> Donovan's going to have to play first and Gorman will have to play second. All right. I'm just going to straight sim this game so that we can get into our draft list and take a look at these guys one more time before we get into the draft. And we win nine to nothing. We've won four out of six, four out of five games today. That game, we, this game we'd already played. Um, Donovan, two doubles, doubles. Goldschmidt, two home runs. Burleson with a home run. Burleson playing center? I don't think so. They'd play, uh, Carlson would play center over Burleson. Uh, Lance Lynn, three hits shutout with 10 Ks. Gotta love that. All right, I'm gonna save so I don't lose all of our progress. And then, uh, let's see. Rocky, this is the game right here, right here on the 22nd. That game against San Francisco. <clears throat> Here, I'll show you. I showed George his uh, his seat as well. There you go. That's the view from his seat. <clears throat> so, um, that'll be fun. And while I'm in here on this, I want to show you. I showed you guys umpire scorecards last time on Twitter. And this is uh, John Bacon. Don't know who he is. This is his. Uh, so these red circles are pitches that he called strikes. And the green ones, which should have been strikes, were all called balls. How can these pitches inside the red ones be called balls, but the red ones are strikes? That's horrendous. Here's another guy, Jonathan Parra. Look at all these strikes he did not call. Brian Walsh, look at all that red. Those were all pitches that he called strikes. And the green ones he called balls. <laughs> oh, hey, Doug Eddings, he gets even better. Look at this shit. His, his strike zone is flipped on its side. That's just fucking terrible. Gabe Morales, this is what you see when you have a good umpire. He only missed one strike call and only missed two balls. So Gabe Morales had an excellent game. But the rest of those guys were dog shit. <clears throat> All right, let's get down to scouting. We were looking at Doug Hopp, and he doesn't look like much special. Mora was the guy we had to... Scout, because we have pick number seven, so I want to make sure all the guys in the top ten, roughly, are scouted. Um, who did we discover? Nothing special there. Nothing special there. All right, so our discovery is not finding guys that are high enough. So we'll leave him on infield again. Um, we're going to change him out. All right, so this is the guy right here that we're hoping falls to us. 98 mile an hour fastball, 96 two seamer, 90 mile an hour changeup, and 88 mile an hour slider. Dude throws heat. He's left handed. Eight, 19 years old. His break, his control, and his home runs per nine are lower. Everything else is really good. So I would be ecstatic to get this dude. Also, I want, I want you guys to pay attention to some. See on the right where it says arm strength and arm accuracy. For him, that, that those are those are valid numbers. But sometimes you get a pitcher that has really high arm strength, and that will boost artificially boost his overall. Like, um, what is that in in Madden and NCAA? His awareness. You get an awareness. You get their awareness up. All of a sudden, their overall goes way up. But doesn't mean they're any better. 
um, in those football games, you'd rather have, if you're usering at quarterback, you'd rather have a low awareness quarterback that has higher numbers everywhere else because you're usering. But when you sim, you want that high awareness, right? So be careful when you get a pitcher who has really high, high arm strength is that's going to artificially boost his overall when his other ratings are lower and he shouldn't be that high of an overall, just so you know how that works. So we have this guy one, Clinton Tharp, we have number two. Guy has a lot of stamina, good strikeouts and walks per nine. His control and his hits per nines are a little bit weak. Here's the guy right here, look at his arm strength. So that's actually inflating his overall just a bit. I would take this guy. Um, Andres Castro, look at that, great walks and home runs per nine. Hits per nine is going to be his, his bad thing, but everything else is excellent. Again, another one with high arm strength boosting his overall. <laughs> 6'5 lefty, though. So I would take any of those guys. This guy, we have sixth. He's not fully scouted. And his per nines are a little low. He's got great stamina. Um, he's probably down the list for me. This guy's listed at 10. And the only thing is the problem with him is his strikeouts, walks, the home runs, control. So some of his per nines, but his hits per nines are good. Stamina, velocity, break, all that's good. So I would take this guy. Good idea, draft a closer, move to reliever. Yes. If you get so many starting pitchers in your system that drafting another starting pitcher would just be overkill, I would definitely go draft those closers, especially if you have a, a second first round pick, uh, two second round picks, whatever, because they start going once you get past the first 30 picks. Then those guys, the relievers and closers, all start going. Um, yeah, and if you already have a bunch of closers, move them to reliever. Because if they have high clutch, then that, that makes them a good setup guy as well, right? But that's that's a way to get good relievers. Um, especially, you can get a lot of high potential guys too, so you can also trade those guys off. But yeah, I, I think uh, FG, Franchise Gaming, has done that in his, and I do that in my sim franchises that I don't put on Twitch. Once I get a big stable of starting pitchers that I just need for them to progress, then I'll start taking those closers. Um, not high in the first round, but if you get a really weak draft um, and there's not a lot of position players and all the good starting pitchers go early, yeah, I'll, I'll grab them late in the first round, early in the second round for sure. Also go through your, I'll do this in a minute, go through your starting pitchers. And if you have anybody that has under 70 stamina, I would move them to the bullpen. They're not going to they're going to run out of gas in the 4th and 5th inning. Just move them to the bullpen and make them a long reliever. So, if you overdraft pitchers and you have just a glut of starting pitchers, shift some into the bullpen. So, especially if they have uh good strikeouts maybe they don't have a lot of stamina but they can strike everybody out just stick them in the pen um so this guy i would take over this guy even though we have him ranked 10th and he's sixth i would take cutliff over holman just because he has four categories where he is super high and holman doesn't fagan is another guy um his control and hits per nine are down but everything else is great so i would actually take fagan over holman too um, Batista, this guy, he's a uh, low B, and he's going to be in the low 70s. So he's not going to have a lot of upside, but this guy could get to the majors pretty quick. So if we had a second-round pick, I would take this guy. He's probably going to be gone before the third. Um, if he's there in the third, I will strongly consider taking him. And this guy's another one. His strikeouts and home runs are his only bugaboo. Everything else is awesome. He throws gas, too. Um, so, you know, we've got some guys down here. This is a guy I'm going to finish scouting. Again, he's got some per nines issues, but great velocity and stamina. Dice cake Tanaka. Yeah, these guys are all guys that could go when I get to our pick later. Because we pick at 83. What's up, Specta? How you doing, man? Um, I haven't scouted any of these guys. I probably won't. Um... This guy looked like he was going to be a stud catcher, right? He's got great hitting. His fielding is okay. Um, but he dropped. He's he's going to be in the low 70s, and he's 
going to be maybe low 80s, so he wouldn't be bad, but he doesn't have a whole lot of upside, and he's 22. Um, this guy looks the same way. We might scout him. I don't know. I, he, I won't get this guy. i got to look at people that are beyond the first 70 picks. So some of these guys I haven't even scouted because there's no way I'll draft them. We found this guy, so I will scout him. He might be the guy that we scout this week. Because if he he drops down into the top 10, that might be an option. But his bat, he looks like he's all fielding and bats, so maybe I won't. Maybe I won't. I have, uh, where are my shortstops I had written down? Domingo and Parks. There's Parks. And there's Domingo. I think Parks would be better. But, yeah, you know, they're they're organization filler, so we'll see. They're late picks. We're talking fifth and sixth round. <clears throat> if we don't get one of those pitchers, if this guy falls to us, I'm going to take this left fielder instead. This is The only reason we won't take a picture, pitcher early is if this guy's sitting there. This guy's MLB ready to go right now. He's probably going to be in the high 80s potential and low 70s um, overall. But the dude can rake already at 21, play all three outfield spots, great speed, not much of a glove. We could actually move him to first base. <clears throat> Peter Vigna. And this Cutler dude, he's also, he could be one. He's got a really good bat. His power's a little down against righties, but he's a, a notch below Vigna, but he's not far off. And it wouldn't be that much of a stretch. 6-3-2-8, we could also move him to first base. So these are the only two hitters that I've found and that catcher that would be any kind of consideration early on. <clears throat> this guy's going to be great speed, can hit a little bit, can't play defense. Um, yeah. Where was that? I thought we discovered a guy. Did we discover? Did I miss him? Oh, this guy. Yeah. So this guy's going to be high B, low A. But he's going to be in the 50s. His overall is going to be in the 50s. And the dude can just hit for great average. His power's kind of be middling. He'll be able to crush lefties. And his defense is okay. His speed's okay. Um, so this guy... <clears throat> Cook some brunch pretty soon. Got that air fryer going, man. I just had myself three eggs and toast, so we're good here. So this guy's not rated in the MLB, and we have him 67. So <clears throat> he's in play for our third round pick. If we take a hitter, I won't take him. But if we, we take a pitcher, we might take this guy. Um, He's 21, so he's going to be in his, you know, 27, 26-year-old before he's usable. So he would be a trade chip. Um, maybe if we can go get trade him off and get Brian Wu, right? Um, anybody else that I had? Oh, yeah, I had this guy. I don't think we're going to have enough time to scout him. Great speed and good defense, but he can't hit much. I was looking at the guys we discovered. Um, not having that... Uh, not having... Yeah, I'm going to change this to Tanaka. Not having that um, second-round pick is just really... I want to see where he's going to be at. And Hop... I don't think he's going to be anything special. So let me... Let me any, who did I want to look at? Star. I'm going to look at Lou Star. He's 19, he's 18, and... Yeah, we looked at this, didn't we? Yeah, we didn't find anything. All right, I'm going to leave it on international infielders. And this will be the last week <clears throat> for us to scout. So, there you got... Uh, a look at the list of guys. I'll deal with later in a draft when it comes because it really depends on who falls and who doesn't. 
Um, but you see Boyle, Tharp, Castro, Holman, Mora, Cutliff, and Fagan. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's seven starting pitchers plus Vina and Cutler. So we have nine players on our list for our first pick. So we won't have to scramble. It'll just be a matter of do we take which one of these pitchers or do we possibly shift over and take a hitter if we don't like the pitcher. So that's what we're going to do. Um, I would have scouted a lot more guys higher up the board if we had a second round pick. Bowl game done good. Good luck. Go kick some ass, man. I already got my shit done. I already moved my uh, guys on my depth chart. And uh, since our next season is probably going to be our last one on this version of the game, I'm not red shirting anybody next year. <clears throat> yeah, I have some, mostly pitchers. I got, I got a long list of pitchers um, for later, and some hitters. It wasn't really wasn't a good hitters. I was trying to discover hitters, and I, I wasn't finding anything. I just wish they would let you see your draft board before you go into the draft. It, they do, but it doesn't allow you to back out. So I want to be able to go in and back out and do whatever. But once I go to the draft, I have to do the draft. I can't pause it. Um, so that's a quality of life thing. I wish they would let you view that list outside of the draft one more time. So it's it's uh we need pitching. I'll take a hitter if I can get them because we have a dearth of uh, positional player prospects as well. Um, if you watch Mr. Hurricane, he just started a Cardinals one as well. I just want to say I was first. And um, he's he was talking about how there's no real good prospects in their minors out of, outside of Victor Scott. And uh, I have to agree. So I'd be curious to see how he builds his team. And uh, all you guys that uh, weren't here at the beginning... Um, before we get in here, I showed this to uh, Rocky. This is a trade that I scouted out last night. So you guys can tell me what you think that trade would go through. And if you look at his contract... It's uh, pretty cheap. It's pretty cheap. 14, 16, 18, 20, 22. By the time we get into 2030 and beyond, we may not even be playing. So I won't have to worry about it being 30 million. <laughs> yeah, Rocky really wants me to pull the trigger on this trade. <clears throat> the other trade, so we're talking about that trade. And we're talking about this trade. That's the trade. That's the trade I really want to do right there. That would get us a replacement for Goldschmidt. An 85 overall starting pitcher and then saying, yeah, I know Fiend, welcome in, man. Yeah, I was messing around last night and I was like, is there a young stud? I can't get Acuna, I can't get Julio Rodriguez. Is there a young stud I could actually get? What kind of blockbuster trade could I get? Yeah, Fiend is over on YouTube, so you got to go watch him on YouTube and I highly recommend it. Um... He just got a two-way generational player, first overall in his Rockies um, draft-only franchise. Dude is a fucking stud. So, yeah, this trade is the best trade right here. This is the best trade. We get the pitcher we need, we get another stud reliever, and we get a first baseman to replace Goldschmidt, right? And we still keep Newt Barr. So, for the, the best thing for the team is this trade. <clears throat> This, this is the best trade for the team, but we get Fernando. That's why I put that, that's why I put that GIF over on uh, Discord. Uh, I put a thing out and said, I have a trade possibility you might be shocked about, and I'm debating it. I don't know if I'm going to do it or not. 
but it's a blockbuster and it doesn't involve a pitcher. And then I put one that says, can you hear the drums, Fernando? <laughs> so when we get to the end of the month, you guys will tell me what you want to do. Do you want me to get Tatis or do you want me to get this trade? Yeah, and both teams are terrible. Well, the Padres are terrible. Look, the Padres are the worst team in the National League. They're 31 and 62. They're 31 games under 500, and they're going nowhere. <laughs> okay? And the American League, Guardians are five games out, Mariners are four games out. Mariners trade, I want to get Brian Wu, and I think we'll have to do that in the offseason. But this Indians trade, and you're like, well, why would the Indians make that trade and trade away Naylor, right? Well, Naylor's on the trade block. There was a crawl across the bottom on last one of the games in the last stream that said he was on the trade block. Why is he on the trade block? Well, that's because Cleveland has Kyle Manzardo, one of their top prospects, a potential 70 overall at 23 years old. So that's their first baseman. So they don't have to re-sign Goldschmidt. And if they do sign Goldschmidt, he can play DH. So, and center field straw is old. Their younger guys are a ways away. Um, I might move Carlson to right field before I make the trade. So he, he starts in right field instead. And their relievers, they got a bunch of relievers. Karen Chak's good to get as well. And they have one, two, three, four, five, six. Plus they have him and him. So trading away Tanner isn't the worst thing in the world. So that's what we're looking at at the end of the month. I'll let you guys help me decide that. While I'm on this page, we are five and a half games back and we're in the wild card. So the Tatis one would be awesome, but it would gut some of our depth for the rest of the season. So we'll balance that out the other trade would be awesome for this year and next um hitting wise donovan's hitting 324 goldschmidt's hitting 311 remember at one point he had three home runs and four rbi <laughs> uh gorman he saw my player lock earlier we homered with him in pittsburgh tommy two bags lars had a two home run game on in the sim arenado's cooling off by the way, I could trade Arenado straight up for uh, Machado, who's not regressing, but Machado's getting paid $31 million a year for 10 more years, so I'm not making that deal. Contreras is eh. Mason Wynn is eh. Carlson's cooled off. Walker, we just got back from injury, so that's why he's he's down. Uh, I'm going to trade Crawford away today. Um, and I know some of you guys, this is repeating myself, but we traded... Victor Santos for Joe Barlow last stream to help our bullpen. I traded Matt Carpenter to the Rockies for Michael Tolia. And then we traded Sam Roberts and Juan, I'm sorry, Joshua Baez, not Juan. Josh Baez, who's buried in our depth chart in the minors in center field. To the Blue Jays for or Elvis Martinez, who is an A potential third baseman. So we have this guy that is 22, 65, A potential and uh, maybe he progresses up and we can get him to the majors by the time Arenado's contract is up. So, Arenado, we've got three more years after this. So, three more years, we'll put him at 25, 26. So, we'll see. We will see. I could always trade Martinez, too, since he's a potential. I'll get a lot for him. All right, so... Yeah, we're going to finish up Dice Cake Tanaka. We're going to look at this guy that was discovered. Do some more prospects. And like I said, these are the guys we're looking at for our first round pick, which is seven. This is the guy I really want. I hope he falls. Probably won't, but I hope he does. Tharp is two on our list. Castro is three. Um, I have Mora four, Cutliff five. Holman six, Fagan seven. Um, catch this guy's the last one on our list. And left field Vina, I would take him over one of those last three pitchers. And Cutler is a possibility. If I draft this guy, he's moving to first base. Yeah, we'll, we'll just move him to first base. 
But he could play some outfield until he gets old enough to play in the majors. But those those are the guys we have on our list. Nine guys. All right. So I'm not going to play any more games. We're going to get right into the draft right now. So we're going to sim this week, and let's get to the draft. And back-to-back -back shutouts. We only gave up one run the whole series against Washington. Arnado and Tolia hit a home run. Sonny Gray with a four-hit shutout. Yeah, we gave up two runs in four games against Washington. <laughs> These guys do not want me to sell players. Carlson with a home run. Gibson gives up one run. Gallegos gets the win and relief. Helsley picks up a save, gets ZRA below six. All right, Kansas City. Our cousins from the other side of the state that have a serious problem with the big boy Cardinals. And we win 6-4. to four. Kyle Wright, 10 walks. Wow. 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 All right, Jordan Walker, three, two for four with three RBIs. Hit a home run. Matt's pitched okay. That error by Donovan allowed three unearned runs, but the bullpen shut him down. <clears throat> Helsley's finally doing well. And then we lose a close one, 3-2. to two. Drew Waters with a three-run homer. No, not three-run homer. Two-run homer, but it, or, yeah, he either drove in two with a hit in the fourth or it was a two-run homer. Got another one there. Waka, Michael Waka, Waka, Waka. Two hits for Donovan, two hits for Arenado. One was a home run. Michaelis pitched great. Gallegos blew it. Red Sox want to trade a CJ Crone. No. No. This is what we have pitching wise. Um, you saw us user Libertor last time. He's got his hits per nine is what's hurting him. His hits per nine is only at 44. So that's. He'll be okay to use her, but in the sim, he's not going to be so great. Um, Tink Hintz. I just moved him to AAA. No, I didn't. I should move him to AAA. After the All-Star game, I'm going to push him up to AAA because he's dominating AA. <clears throat> Cooper Yerpe, he's dominating. So I'm going to move these two guys up to AAA after the All-Star game. Roby just came back from being hurt, so I'm going to let him keep pitching in AA. Graceffo was our top pitching prospect. He's probably a bullpen arm at this point. We'll leave him down there. Novoa. He's only had two starts. McGreevy, he was a college pitcher. He's going down to double A. And I might move him down to double A just to try and get his hits per nine down. This guy's pitching decent in double A. This guy's not even pitching. He's a D. This is a guy we got in the uh, Flaherty trade. Let's see what he did with us in real life last year. <clears throat> So, not a whole lot. All right. The Chubbs, Javier Assad, Lance Lynn. And we win 10-3. to Head-to-head -head for first place. Horner with two steals. Pounded Palencia and Assad. Donovan, two hits. Newt Bar, four for five with six RBI. Gorman, three for four with three RBI. Two more homers for Newt Bar, one for Gorman. Ooh, Lance Lynn. The way Newt Bar's played lately, we might have to do the Cleveland trade instead of the Tatis trade. As much as Rocky wants Tatis, and as much as I was like salivating over having Tatis, Newt Bar's, he's on a heater, man. Look at this. It's up to 292, eight home runs. It's contacting. Contact's going up, but his power is dropping, even though he's just hit four home runs today. We signed him through his arbitration, so he's going to be here for a while. And he's cheap. Just like we did with Jordan Walker. We signed him cheap. <laughs> and Mason Wynn, he's cheap. And Nolan Gorman, he's cheap. So. Second trade, yeah. That second trade was the one that I was looking at seriously the entire time. We get the, the most bang for the buck, and we don't have to give up Newt Bar. 
but I need to move Carlson to right field. So he's, um, I'm, I'll leave him at center field when we make the trade. And then I have to go in and move him to right. So he'll start in right field for, for them. He's better than Laureano. All right. So you guys ready for the draft? And we lost that game. And here we go. There it is. I have my order written down so I don't have to worry about. I have all these guys. Oh, we got him. We finally got him. So he's just low on his, some of his per nines. Great velocity and stamina, though. So he's fully 90% scouted. Some of these guys we won't see. This guy's a high floor, low ceiling guy. This guy won't be around long enough for us to pick him. A lot of these guys are going through right now would be guys for our third round pick. And then these are our later round picks. So, um... Did that put him at the bottom? Yeah, it did. I just don't want to have to go looking for him. Um, so let me put him in order once I get him to the top. This interface could be a thousand percent better. This was just slapped together by someone who's not doing the draft. And uh, it's it's uh, not the best. All right, so yeah, Mora goes there, Cutliff goes there, Fagan goes there. He's fine. Where's that outfielder? This guy. This guy is going to be, this guy is probably going to be a high B, low A, but he's going to be in the 50s. So he's just a trade. I want to put him up here so I don't forget him. He's a trade piece if we draft him. So. All right. This is the, this is the order we want to take these guys in. I would take Vina over these other pitchers. All right, here we go. Cross your fingers, boys. Cross your fingers. At least we don't have to wait for the smoke to clear like we did last year. These these first picks kind of go fast. So Originally, the Cardinals had the fifth pick. Um, but when they did the lottery, both the Reds and the Indians, Guardians, I'm going to call them the Indians because that's what I'm used to calling them. Um, they get pushed up and they dropped everybody. <clears throat> Got to take a little video. What do you mean? I'm not sure what I mean, Spectre. What do you mean? You want to you wanna see uh, the proper way to scout? Let me give you, I'm going to give you Fiend's link again because this, this shit works. I've watched him do it. I've done it enough off camera that... You know how you guys like to uh, call me the uh, Vaughn father for my... Um, for for my my uh, recruiting in NCAA, this is the guy for scouting for MLB right here. Can't go back. Yeah, yeah. That's you can move him up and down in here, but once the clock starts, there's no way to pause the draft like you can in Madden. That's I wish we could just pause the draft. You no, know, get a phone call. Got to go to the bathroom. Fucking house is on fire. No, you just gotta let the draft go. All right, here we go. Cross your fingers. Lee Boyle, that's who we want. Fall, please, fall. First pick of the draft is to the Cleveland Guardians, Clinton Tharp. So there's a starting pitcher. That makes trading for Tanner Bybee even better because now they have a guy to replace him. He should be in the low 70s and be uh, possibly low 90s potential. Cincinnati, Andres Castro is another dude pushing a potential with 70 overall. 
lefty. They need a lefty. And the last one with these animations is Vern Cordero. So Colorado goes for the uh, catcher. Uh, they could use a catcher. So it's not a terrible pick for them. He just doesn't have as high a potential as some of these pitchers. So he'll be major league ready within a year. All right. Oakland, Chicago, and Kansas City. See which one of these baby backs steals my pitcher. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Fuck. Oh, I was asking a lot to see if he would drop. We'll go check out what his ratings are when we're done with the draft. And the White Sox go with the hitter. So the two best players are gone. Now it's up to Kansas City. And they take Art Fagan. All right, so that leaves us with Mora. His problem is home runs and control, but he's got good velocity. Holman's not as high. Cutliff was the other guy we were looking at. <clears throat> All right, so Fiend, you can help me with this. These are the two pitchers I'm looking at, and then this is the hitter I'm looking at. I think those two pitchers are better than this hitter. Um, this guy would eventually go to first base. But it's between Mora and Cutliff. And this guy is looks like he's going to be low 80s potential maybe. High 60s, low 70s overall. Same thing with this guy. One's 18, one's 21. He's a lefty. So the fact that they're that close, his potential is slightly wider gap. But he's three years younger. Yeah, it's just his per nines. Because his, his, his per nines are great. And his velocity and his break are great. His stamina is great. Throws a 99 mile an hour fastball, a 98 mile an hour two seamer. He's got a change up, a slurve, and a curve. I'd probably change that slurve to a slider. I don't need a curveball and a slurve. He's got the change up. So, yeah, let's take Chris Cutliff. Let's see what he is. All right. Since it's only 10 seconds, we'll let some of these picks go off so we can see where they go. <clears throat> so, we need to go look at these guys and see what they turn out as. Gates, third baseman, that's a reach. Look at that, 38 to 72. Let me move myself up here. Here. We'll move it right there. Another reach at starting pitcher. Washington finally takes Sean Mora. Yeah, that means he could be hurt, he could be healthy. Salgado over... Overrated starting pitcher. Boston. See, as a third, second baseman, I didn't bother scouting because um, we, we wanted that pitcher and his splits 94 to 90, so he could be overrated, right, Fiend? Yeah, that was that was tough. I definitely would have taken Vina if uh, he was there over the pitcher. I'd have taken Vina for sure. Thought about this guy, but that was such a wide gap. It could be anywhere in there. Guardado is overrated at third base. Didn't bother with Turner. Once they got to a certain point, I didn't even care about the hitters. I wanted these guys at the top, but Fagan is, is less. I think Mora is better than Fagan. I'm happy with Cutliff. Yeah, I wanted Boyle or Vini. I'd take any of these pitchers. So we're good there. Vina would have been nice to have too, but we need the pitcher. And there goes the other outfielder. So we got to go look at the Marlins because they took the other outfielder I was considering. Third base. There's Alfred Bell. He's overrated. We thought he might be good, but he, he uh, scattered out bad. <clears throat> we'll, we'll skip once we get through this. I just want to see who goes in the first round. Pratt first base didn't scout him maybe I should have guy can rake <laughs> he definitely can rake 
I wasn't thinking first base. I probably should have. So that might have been a miss there. He could have been he could have been worth taking early. But we had so many pitchers that were in strong contention that I'm, I'm not going to cry about a first baseman we didn't get. Blanco, shortstop. Good hitter, good speed, defense. Not a bad pick. Eric Neve, Nieve. He's overrated. His problem's just as per nines, though. Sellers, right fielder. Those are wide splits, though. It's almost 20 point gap. In uh, 53 to 72, it could have been anywhere in there. Kaminsky, older player, not bad. Great power, good speed, and defense. Can he make contact, though, right? This would have been a second round pick. Not a first. Would have been a second. Kareem Hafey. That's an overrated guy. <clears throat> the Diamondbacks. The Babybacks. Ooh. 39 to 73. Yeah, that's a bad pick. Texas. We're going to have to go back one to see who they took. Leslie Wong. Decent hitter. All speed and defense. And they come back with pitcher. 5% scouted. And they took Salazar. This guy looks like he could be generational, right? 63-93, 63-93. But that draft rank tells me he's not at the top of the list, right? That's why I didn't bother scouting him. I was like, yeah. Usually he's a much, he starts off much higher. Right now, here, who was asking me before? Is that Rolla? This is when all of the uh, relievers and closers start going. As you can see, this guy would have been decent to take. Good stamina for a closer too. But look, look at his arm strength. That shit over there will inf inflate their overall. You don't need great arm strength on a closer. You'd rather have it have a mediocre arm and have it be in his the rest of his pitching stuff. There's Oscar Vina, good hitting catcher, decent cat, decent defense. See, we don't have any of these picks, so it wasn't worth us to uh, scout these guys. Chuck Anderson, relief pitcher. Here come the A's after stealing our guy. They come back and take a closer. We've got two left-handed pitchers in this draft. We do not have a pick in this round because we signed Sonny Gray. So that's why we didn't scout any of these guys. Scott Mueller. We still have Ryan Holman on our list. That's a guy that we considered. So if he's there with our pick in the third round, we might take this guy. Strikeouts are kind of eh. This is a guy who should be right around 90 potential and right in the mid-50s. But he, if he's an A potential, that's just an excellent trade ship, right? Yeah, this guy, if he got to us, I would have taken him. One of those high floor guys. Micah Dudek. All right, we're gonna we're gonna sim forward. All right. So on our board, the outfielder is there, and some of the pitchers are there. <clears throat> so now we have to decide: do we want Jackie Wolf, home runs and control, or eh? Everything else is really good though. Like B potential, low sixties. Val Khan. He's more all over the place. Throws gas, though. But he only has three pitches. I don't like guys with three pitches. This is the guy we know can hit. He's just 21, and he won't have a high overall, but he could be an A. And Tanaka's per nines are down except for walks, but he can throw two-seam, four-seam, mid. He's got a slider, change-up. Got a good pitch mix. 
Lindsay. I gotta make a pick. Um, all right, I'm gonna take the hitter. I forget we don't have a whole lot of time. <laughs> Chance to get an A potential guy in the third round. Give us more options. I won't. I won't be shy if we can get a great player for this guy, great pitching prospect. I'll trade that guy off. Goes to. Yeah, we'll take this guy, hoping he's an A, so we can trade him. It'll be an off-season trade. Yeah. 113 is our next pick. So if any of these guys are here with our next pick, we'll just take them and, and go. We need we need arms in the system. Young arms in the system. Yeah. Another reliever. Hunter Valdez. All speed and defense. A little bit of hit. Especially at 21. Reggie Ramirez. Nope. After Boston's pick, I'm going to send Jackie Wolf. So there goes one of the pitchers we had on the board. So let's just sim. All right. So now we have to choose between Tanaka and Lindsay. So now we have a guy. He's 18. He's 19. He's going to start out higher overall, but he's got a chance to have a better, better potential. He's 19. He's 18. He's a lefty. He's a righty. Um... He'll be ready sooner, but he won't be, doesn't it? His overall is definitely going to be higher, but his potential could be higher. Um, 65, 77. I'm going to take the guy who has a chance to have a better potential. And if Lindsay's there with our next pick, we'll take him. <clears throat> Let's find out. And he is. There he is. All right, so we got them both. Not bad for fifth round. And the last pick, Antonio Cortez. He's 22 years old. He's going to be mid-60s, high-70s potential. Casey Martin could be closer to low-70s potential, high-60s. This guy, definite B in the 60s. His walks and hits. I'm going to take Josh Brantley. Much better potential. And he's got that rainbow glove we got to get rid of. <clears throat> yeah, that's all. That's all right. It's our sixth round pick. It's our sixth round pick. So, what's his stamina is really good. So, he's definitely a starting pitcher. And he's just another bullet. I mean, if he's a B potential, he could get us something better, right? Sixth round pick. I'm not going to complain about getting a B potential in the sixth round. Exactly. <clears throat> K. Lou has up. How you doing, KD? Welcome in, welcome in. Somebody shout out KD for me, please. <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah, if we had another pick, I'd try to get one of these two guys. Younger guys, but... Let me shout you out. How are you doing playing Fortnite, huh? I'm good. I'm tired. I'm a little fatigued. I had a five-set match last night. Uh, boys high school. It was very competitive. It was highly entertaining. Um, the uh, team on my right was the school. I used to go to school when I was in high school. And I, uh, that coach c coached my daughter when she was in high school. And he's got a bunch of just straight up athletes. They don't know how to play the game yet. He has a really good setter. But the rest of the guys are still trying to learn how to play. I'm sure they're all basketball players because they have insane verticals. They get up and put shit down, but they don't know how to play their positions when they are not attacking the ball yet. So they're going to be good. <clears throat> there you go, K KD. Yep. He deserves a shout out, man. If you like his videos, let him know because he has great content. All right, we can sim out. All right, so let's go back and look real quick before we, because it's going to be a little bit before we get to look at these guys. 
All right, so we missed out on this stud and that stud. But we got Cutliff. We just got to work on his per nines. Got great velocity break, hits per nine stamina. 6'3", 232. Dude's my size. This guy's my size. Exactly my size. Um, don't have a second round pick. All these compensatory picks go. <clears throat> Segura, this is the guy we're hoping that he's got low A potential and we can trade him off for a good player. Crush him. Even if he's B, he'll still have good good value. Dice K, hoping he comes in on the higher end of his stuff. Just got to work on his per nines. Good velocity, good good uh, stamina. Uh, Lindsay, we took... He doesn't have as high of uh, a ceiling, but he's got a high floor, so he'll be uh, he'll be somebody who can pitch in the bottom half of the rotation, bias time until somebody else develops. Josh Brantley is another high potential guy. He's got some work to do, even though he's 23. We could trade him off, and that's our draft. So let's get out of here and. Uh, Are we in the home run derby? No Cardinals. Two Dodgers, two Yankees, no Cardinals. Uh, we drafted a pitcher, a left-handed pitcher named Cutliff. He was uh, the, the guy we wanted was taken by Oakland at four, and the hitter we wanted was taken by the White Sox at five. Um. So we took the best pitcher of what was available. There was another hitter we considered, but I, I need the pitcher, so let's just take the pitcher. Lost to the Cubs, 13-11. Dominic Smith with a home run. Newt Bar, Gorman with two. Walker, so all our young guys are hitting home runs. So that's the fifth home run Newt Bar's hit in this stream. So... I'm still going to put it up to you guys to see what you want to do if you want me to make that huge trade for Tatis or make the trade with Cleveland. We don't have to get to that until we get down here. Let me move this now. Um, and then we'll, uh, we'll sim this day right here so we can see what our picks are. We have yet to play a full game. All we've been doing is uh, player lock games and doing the draft. Um, I'll probably play one game out of this mess. Maybe we'll play the Pirates, like here, this afternoon day game. <clears throat> um, and we were just at Pittsburgh, weren't we? Yeah. <sighs> Maybe we play the uh, trade deadline game against Texas at home. That's what we'll do. We'll play this Texas game. So maybe we'll get we'll get a couple other player locks in here. So let's send the home run derby. Angels want to trade us Luis Garcia, thirty seven years old. No, no. Send the All Star game. Well, oh, let me see the box score. Really? All right, now we get to sign our draft pick. So here you go, Rocky. So this was our first pick right here. And he wants 4.7 million, so I'll give him five. And he'll turn it down, and that's okay. And he turns that down. And he turns that down, all right? So all you baby backs are gonna come off the board because I want to try and get somebody signed. Tanaka. Brantley. All right, Brantley signs. Tanaka signs. Yeah, no, that's okay. We got the bottom two guys, so now we just got these three guys. They're all pretty good, high interest. We're all 100%. Well, he Cutliff's not 100% scouted yet, but that's okay. We're good. I almost I have I don't think I've ever had a draft where I didn't sign all my guys. I saw some people on Reddit. They're like, "How do I sign these guys? Because I can't get them to sign." And I'm like, 
If you're having that much trouble signing them, come over to sign draft picks and tell the computer to sign them, and they will all get signed. If you can't do it, then come in here and choose skip signing and set to auto, and it'll sign all those guys for you. Fiend, I saw a Rockies draft the other day. They only had two out of like seven guys they drafted sign. <laughs> two guys. What a shitty draft. And none of their none of their players that they signed were B potential or better. So they had a horrible draft. All right. Sim the Braves lose nine to five. Goldschmidt and Gorman with home runs. Matt's got lit up. It is terrible. It's Arcia with two, Albies with one. All right. Where are we at standings-wise? All right, so three and a half games behind the Cubs and solidly in the wildcard race. Donovan's hitting 330. I keep telling you guys, he's not going to hit a lot of home runs, but this dude rakes. So, and look at all those positions. Everything but catcher. Go get him. Nolan Gorman up to 15 home runs, hitting 270. I'll take 270 if he hits 40 bombs. Goldschmidt's down to 300, 17 home runs. 258. Newt Bar's up to 299 with 9. Arnado's treading water at 249, but 17 home runs. Contreras is struggling. Wynn is struggling. Carlson's dropping. Walker's pushing up to 230. He was in the 220s when he you know, got hurt, right? He's got 13 bombs. We're going to trade Crawford away. We picked up Tolia for Matt Carpenter. He's played two games and hit a home run. Starting pitching, Sonny Gray is doing great. He's worth 25 mil if he's doing that. Look at that wheel up there, guys. So hits per nine, strikeouts, walks, home runs, stamina, velocity, control break. If you see all of those in the 60s or higher, you've got a stud pitcher. So if you're trying to get your players developed up, if you can get them all into the 60s at the bare minimum, they're going to do well in the sim. Uh, they still have some years where they give up a little more hits or they give up a little more home runs, but it's when you don't have it, right? So his Ks per nine are in the 47, and he's only got 75 strikeouts in 122 innings, right? But he's still pitching well. He's just not going to strike out a bunch of guys. And Lance Lynn is on the edge, but he's pitching better than his, his ratings, honestly. <laughs> Matt's problem is his Ks, and you can see that by, because he only has 82 Ks. Uh, Michaelis, his hits and his walks, I'm sorry, his hits and his strikeouts and home runs are a little down. Doesn't walk a ton of guys. You can see he's only got 25 walks. So, <clears throat> Gallegos, he recovered from a bad start. Thompson's had a couple of rough outings lately. Bullpen's done well. We replaced that Rule 5 guy with Joe Barlow. And Helsley's ERA is back up over six. All right. And you go back to setup rule. I signed him long term too, and I might have to trade him if he can't do better than that. Uh, league leaders: Donovan leads the National League in hitting. Aaron Judge is hitting three fifty four. Wow. With thirty three home runs. Mike Trout, 29 home runs. Wow. Okay. Sam Bouchard, 303, really? Really? He's really progressing. He's a late bloomer, right? There's Goldschmidt. And Newt Bar. Newt Bar, yeah. We can't trade Newt Bar. Every day that we sim forward, it looks like we're going to not go for Tatis, although that would be just incredible. And that would be incredible for narrative. I think the Indians trade is best for us long term. Thirty six doubles already, thirty for Gunner. McLean with seven triples, low with eight. Shohei with twenty seven bombs. Judge Stanton with 30. My God. Seeger. You know how much I love to hit with Seeger. <laughs> um, 
86 RBI for Shohei. What is his pitching? Nine and six with a 380. He he's not going to win the Cy Young unless he has a incredible last two months. He's not going to win the Cy Young. But hitting, he might still win MVP. Seager with 86 ribs. 28 steals for Castro, 30 for Horner. OPS, Acuna is over 1,000. Judge is over 1,100. Corbin Burns, Joe Ryan, George Kirby. I told you it means I, if he's a free agent, I want to sign him. He might be the only guy we sign. And then we trade for another. Kershaw with 12 wins. Remember, you're not going to see Spencer Strider because he got hit in the head with a line drive and he's out for the year. Phillips with 36. Duran with 32. Holmes with 32. All right, enough looking at that. There's Ethan Salas. There's your guy, Fiend. Waldrop was somebody I thought about trading for. Isaac's going to have good, really good power for the raid. Why is he in A ball? There's Harry Ford. He's out. He's got a broken foot, so I can't trade for him. Ethan Salas, broken forearm, can't trade for him. Dylan Lesko, shoulder tear, can't trade for him. <laughs> I'd love to get this guy. He strikes out a lot. All right, let me save. So we don't lose our draft. Yeah. Oh, here. It's a Cardinals hockey jersey that they gave away at a game last year. So it's a bird on a stick instead of a bat. <clears throat> All right, calendar. Chris Sale. Yeah, I don't want to bat against him. <laughs> and we win 5-4. I, I dreaded playing games against the Red Sox when Sale was pitching in day games because he's throwing out of that bad batter's eye. Newt Barr with another home run. Guys, we can't trade Newt Barr. That's six or seven home runs this month alone. Got to go one more day. Elder, we'll uh, play our lock. Let's play our lock. Get some, get some game action in here. And we'll go. We did Gorman. We did Walker. We did Donovan. <clears throat> Let's do Goldie while we still have him. I'm like 99% sure we're going to make that Cleveland trade. Although, getting Tatis, he'd be our center fielder. He's got nine, almost 99 across the board fielding. <clears throat> and we we found the issue with the uh, with the uh, doubling of the uh, the play, the contact in the game. It was playing through the speaker on my on my controller. Don't swing at that. So the. Controller was making a sound, the capture car was making a sound, and my microphone was picking up the controller sound. So I turned off sound on my controller, and we don't have the, uh, the double hits anymore. So, yay, we fixed it. Oh, get out of here. Go. I don't think it's enough. I didn't get it. Hard. Didn't get it. Oh, it is. It snuck over. I didn't think I hit it well enough. All right, there we go. There we go. Where's Jimmy at? I hit it 420, Jimmy. I didn't think I hit it well enough. I thought he was going to track it down, but that was a shot. All right. 2-2 Two -two tie. One out.
By the way, in real life, we have not extended Goldschmidt. They're going to wait until later in the year or at the end of the year. Ah, good pitch. So, trading him away is not the uh, wildest thing that could happen. Ooh, didn't get the call. That was a good pitch. There we go. So what I may do, <coughs> pardon me, if we make the trade with Cleveland, Naylor's going to play first. So I might put Donovan in left field because Walker's defense is so sus. Newt Barr, Edmund, Donovan, and D.H. Jordan Walker. Because Gorman's defense is, is better than uh, Walker. The only thing Walker has defensively is an arm. One on, one out, so this might be a throw to second. Back, back, back. There we go. Turn two, still losing. Two on, nobody out. There's that. Get the bag. There we go. Three, six, one, double play. Way to cover first. Two outs. There we go. All right, we got to get some runs. Nobody on. All right, so guys, tell me how you think... Um, what do you think of this episode so far? Because normally what we do is we play three full games. So do you like it when I play full games? Or do you like it where I hop in and do player lock? And uh, we get to play parts of more games, but we don't play the full game. So which format do you like better? Because we've been stuck on playing three full games for all of our franchises and honestly it's a little fatiguing mentally to play three full games sometimes I'll get done and I'm, I'm wiped out so you guys let me know what format you like you guys over on YouTube please click like <laughs> please leave a comment oh he got his second one of the day that was a bomb <clears throat> there we go Only thing is, it uh, cut the lead to 12 to 6. <laughs> but hey, two bombs by Goldie in this game. Get everything we can out of him before we trade him. <laughs> and we lose. That's okay. Goalie 3 for 4. Two runs scored, three RBI, hit two home runs, had a single. Ugh, look at that pitching line. Nobody pitched well. Fuck. We might have to trade Helsley at the deadline because he is god awful. He's. I'm going to show you his ratings. He should not be pitching that bad. I'm serious. We might trade Helsley at the deadline. That might be an unexpected trade I wasn't thinking of doing. Before we sign these last, last draft picks. Look at, look at Helsley. The only thing that's down is his walks, and he's only got 60. Well, he does have 16 walks in 26 innings, but he's given up 22 runs in 26 innings and only two home runs. Fuck. Blown five. We have him signed for eight mil a year. I'm not paying eight mil a year for a 6-7 ERA. What can we get for him? <laughs> because JoJo can close.
Yeah. We could get Yoshida. I can't include him in the trade because we can only pick up three and trade away three at a time, but we could do a huge trade and trade Helsley, Goldschmidt, Carlson, and a prospect pitcher and get Naylor, Karen Chak, Sandlin, Bybee, and Tyler Freeman. <laughs> we could do five for four. <clears throat> The only problem is our bullpen really hasn't been the, a problem outside of Helsley. Don't want Flaherty back. We can always go sign another closer in the offseason because they're always free agents. Lance McCullers, but he's 30. We can get Josh Hader, guys. <laughs> Hey, Logan Cerny, he's on uh, Fiends Rockies franchise. Josh Hader. You get Leclerc from Texas. Ooh, A.J. smith Shaver and Penn Murphy. Could get us a stud uh, prospect, but why would the Braves want Helsley? Why would they want Helsley? But that would get us another bullpen arm, an 18-year-old center fielder and smith Shaver, Murphy, Drake, and Shaver. That's a possibility. Specta, we'll, I'll be on for over another hour because we're going to play a full game later and we had a trade deadline. Jonathan India, Lucas Sims. That's interesting. No, Not sure where. I mean, if you play India at second. D.H. Gorman. I'm thinking about that Braves trade. <laughs> hey, no problem, Spectre. Take your time, take your time. Don't want Hicks. Go look at Drake and Shaver. I was looking at Shaver earlier. I wonder if they'd give me Waldrop instead. <clears throat> Looks like Waldrop's numbers are lower, doesn't it? His ratings? Let me move my camera out of the way. Let's put me way up over here. 55, 62, 46. 57, 59, 43. Velocity and break. It's got a 94 mile an hour fastball. It's got a slider. It's 12, 6 and a change. Fastball splitter. Slider and curve. Like the splitter. <clears throat> So what would it look like if I made that and that? Yeah, they want more. So if we, because he's an A, that's why. 
All right, who's that center fielder? Drake. He's nothing special. I think I want to make this deal. Let me Murphy again. He's regressing slightly. I'm not too worried. He can't be any worse than... I mean, he's doing much better than a sim. <clears throat> and we get us another prospect pitcher to go along with the guy we drafted. And he is a lot closer to being ready. We're making this deal. There we go. I'll take a screen cap as soon as we're done with the uh, as soon as we're done with the trade deadline. <clears throat> Twice. Nice. 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 Good. We need all the help we can get. Um, I'm going to check my sliders for trades. Yeah. I'm going to kick that up a notch because we're getting close to the trade deadline. Sign picks. Cutliff. Five mil. Segura. Nope. Lindsay. There we go. Down to two. All right. We're going to play this game against Texas. So it doesn't matter who's pitching. We're playing that game against Texas. So. All right. Pittsburgh. 95. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, have t I got a two for one, so I got to get rid of somebody. <clears throat> so, who do we want to get rid of? Let's make a minor trade and trade three for one, right? Three for one. Let's get rid of some garbage on this team. Um, <laughs> the camera's in the way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I got too many first basemen here, so let's trade Redmond. Um, Rotondo. And Reliever. He's doing well. Packy's on our 40 man. You know what? Let's trade Packy. All right. What can we get? We just need one guy. One guy. <clears throat> Best guy we can get. <laughs> Giolito. If we want to take on contract. Rene Pinto, don't need him. Horowitz, don't need. Kiner Falefa, that's a major league player, right? Let's do it this way. So hopefully we get a guy that's not on the 40 man roster. Chase McDermott. Enrique Bradfield, but he's a clone of uh, Victor Scott, so we don't need him. We don't need two of those guys. Gonzalez, 22B64, that's that's a possibility. We'll go look at him.
Brock Jones. Don't need any more center fielders. Geraldo, don't need him. We got the other guy. Don't need center field. Madison on the Tigers. Austin Martin, former first round pick. Yeah, we can get Joe Boyle since they just got Lee Boyle. He's got velocity. 24 years old, though. Class A. Walter Ford. The wrong Ford, right? Um, I'll look at Ford, though. But he's a C potential. We can get that B from the Red Sox. Max Meyer, but he's 25. His overalls are too low, but I'm not giving up a whole lot, so I'm not shocked. 18-year-old, 64, Xander Muth. Dylan Head. Might go look at him. Those, what is it? All right. Gonzalez on the Red Sox. Yeah, his per nines are low. He hasn't pitched at all. His stamina is not very good either. Give me a starting pitcher. Snelling, no. Dustin May, no. Barris, oh, they're 45 million over the cap. Six six two oh five. Eighteen. He's only a C. If he was a B, that would be well worth it. <clears throat> Cavalli, Phillies, they're not gonna trade me painter or Abel. And they're over the cap. They're over the cap. Not trading him. They'll trade Max Meyer. But he's 25. A lot of strikeouts. A lot of walks. Noble Meyer? Nope. Just because he's an A. Waldrop? No. Scherzer? No. Wu? Walter Ford? They'll trade. This break's terrible. So Lacey, Bubek, Casey Mize, Flores, <coughs> um, yeah, I'm not going to trade me Teeterman, <coughs> pardon me, um, not going to trade Baz or Bradley, Don't trade me Hampton, they're over the budget. So, looks like... God, his stamina is just not high enough for me. Povich, nope. What are his prospects again? Gonzalez. I mean, I probably shouldn't be too greedy because... 
And you know what? Jones. Maybe I do take a player instead. We already took a third base from, from them earlier, so probably not the best option. those walks see potential Fuck. I already have plenty of first baseman I only want one player because they're trying to get rid of players um, <laughs> Xander Muth, we didn't look at him, did we? Trading in the division, but we're trading to the shittiest team in the division. He's 18 years old. I'll do this deal. I'll do this deal. It's like getting an extra draft pick, right? It's like getting him for a second round. And that takes care of our roster issue good and i'll let the computer set the minor leagues um where are we we're there so sunny gray who who is in the major did it put him in the starting they put him in the major leagues no he's triple a ah, i brought up shaver yeah you're going how many one yeah, he's definitely on the 40 man. So, Jojo. Murphy's up. That's fine. And the computer can figure out AAA. <clears throat> and Sonny Gray with a shutout. Edmund with a home run. Well, not a complete game. Murphy came in and did his job. Romero got the save. Um, Gibson and Keller. Let's do a player lock. We haven't played with Lars, so let's get in here with Lars. <clears throat> so what's that going to do? i got to figure out who's going to go bat number two hey no problem thank you appreciate you coming in man get that gym as soon as i get through my high school season i'm going back to working out every other day because i need to all right nolan go pull those hands in drive it up the middle it's not a stolen base threat and he's going to come all the way around oh good throw Good throw. If that was in the gap, he would have scored for sure. Been a much longer throw. Good throw. Get him. There we go. Gunned him down. Look 
that throw. One hop, good tag. You make that trade with Cleveland, we have to send somebody to the minors out of our bullpen. Ooh. And I'm probably going to have to trade away one of my pitchers because I'm going to have six starting pitchers. <clears throat> Lynn and Gibson are not coming back, so I'll probably trade Gibson away. I could trade Michaelis, but he's got one more year left, and we could have him be a placeholder <clears throat> until somebody's ready. Otherwise, we'd have to go get three pitchers in the offseason. So... It's weird lighting. Twilight hour. Come on, guys. Why are we losing to Mitch Keller? Ah, way out in front of that. Ooh, nice pitch. Battle. Thank God we got rid of that double click sound every time they hit the ball. There we go. Get down. Yep, yep, yep. Guys, I think we're making the trade with Cleveland. As much as I'd love to get Tatis, we can't get rid of Newt Bar right now. They would do that deal for... <coughs> I need the pitching. I need the pitching. So that's why we're trading him away. So that's why we're making a deal. I got to get a young pitcher. So <clears throat> if we had all kinds of pitching, then I would make that deal to get Tatis. I was so excited when I saw that. I was like, oh my God, we could get Fernando. But I think we just lagged out. Refresh, guys. Where the tying run, two outs. Come on, Moretta. Right over the plate. Mm -hmm. Got to quit swinging at those low inside pitches. Newt Bar's more of a line drive hitter. He's not a big power hitter. Wind is blowing in, too. His home runs are lasers. They're not big, towering shots. It's going to get caught. All right. We are the go-ahead run. Two outs here in the ninth. Bednar, nasty pitcher. And is he, are they gonna get, there's somebody's going to get that. Yeah. All right. All right. Pirates win. Can't win them all. Donovan, three for five, up to 328 now. Newt Bar, two hits. Everybody had a hit. Donovan and Walker with home runs. Gibson. Gibson's the guy we're going to get rid of. And Barlow might go to the minors. Sandlin might be our closer next year, guys. Make that deal with Cleveland. I don't have to go trade for or sign a closer. All right. Sign these draft picks. Five and a half million. There you go. Greedy bastard. 
Give you a million? Yep, there you go. All right, we are signed, and we still had two million left. Who's on a trade block? John Means. Love to get him, but in order to get him, we have nothing to give them. Manning. You know what, Mason win. Not even remotely close. Jackson Holiday's on a trade. <coughs> you know what? So they don't trade him away. His number is seven. And we're going to move him to second base. <clears throat> um, who else is on a trade block? <laughs> Pete Crow Armstrong. There's Karen Jack. All right. All of our guys are signed. Now let's get to the trade deadline. We're four and a half games back. Solidly in the wild card, though. And then we lose four to two. Home run by Tommy Edmund. Goldschmidt and Arnado with steals. Yeah, that's realistic. And we don't need to sign because everybody signed. We're good to go. Cade Cavalli with his 10 ERA. And let's play lock with Arnado since we haven't done that. <clears throat> so we've done... Donovan, Goldschmidt, Newt Bar, Arnado, Gorman, Walker. So we've player locked with almost everybody on the team so far. So a little more game action. And we'll we'll pitch that last game of the month, whoever it is. In fact, if I make the trade before then and Bybee comes in, we could make his uh, Cardinal debut. <clears throat> we need to get a thumbnail. All right, you want to see where I'm sitting with George? That section revamp will come in, man. Resub for 33 months. How you doing, pimp? Dude, we were possibly trading for... Uh, Fernando Tatis earlier, but I think we're going to do a deal with Cleveland instead. So, see that <clears throat> right in the middle, not the section, not the, the box seats, but right up from there, that walkway right there. See that walkway right there? Sec seat four, which is the first row above the walkway, where that dude in the gray shirt is seating. That dude right there in the gray shirt. That's George's seat. And then I'll be next to him. My wife will be next to me. That's where we're sitting. It's been one of those days. I, I feel you, man. Ah, oh, don't chase that. <clears throat> I will not be around. I will not be around for the game tonight because my varsity match isn't going to start until close to 6.30. And it's a good half hour drive home after, so I'll have to catch the VOD. So good luck to both you guys. Hopefully it'll be a fun game. It's not stupid. It's, it's going to be stressful because it just is. <clears throat> ready to get the you ready for the season to be over? Yeah, I understand. Hopefully we don't try to... Yeah squeeze everything out i'm a eh, bad throw it's on i've got to ref all day saturday and sunday i have seven matches saturday and six on sunday so i'm not going to be home till dinner time close to dinner time both both days so if we want to do off season this weekend um i won't be around until nighttime i'm ready to go for the off season and 
and finish off recruiting and shit, but I'm I'm just not gonna be around. There we go. This is a what is this? How much am I bringing in this weekend? Yeah, it's five hundred and twenty bucks. So. <clears throat> And it should be relatively easy. It's uh, 13 and 14 year old girls. I had 15 year olds last, last weekend, two outs, so we can just go to first. Good strong throw. All right, two two game, nobody out. I don't think that's enough. Nope. Jersey, you like this here? Look, it's a uh, Cardinals hockey jersey they gave away. There's the logo, but they're on a hockey stick instead of a baseball bat. Yeah, they gave this away last year, I think. Oh, that might be out of here. Go, go, get up, get up, get up. Gone. There we go. Adios, get up, baby. Get up, get up. <clears throat> so we've Homer with Gorman and Goldschmidt so far today. Drop the bat head, just like a lefty. There we go. See where it says that steakhouse sign up there? See that steakhouse right there? There is a, that's a, that's Ballpark Village. So they have a, a lot of bars and restaurants and shit. And in the middle of that, they have this big, huge open area with a bunch of booths and tables. And they've got a whole wall of big screen TVs like, 40 foot, you know, not huge TVs, almost like scoreboard size TVs in there. Um, right in the middle, and they got a bunch of restaurants. On the backside of that steakhouse, there's an excellent taco place. So, George wants tacos. We can go there after the game, or we can go to uh, Broadway Oyster Bar, which has Cajun food. They have excellent crawfish mac and cheese. Uh, we can go get, we can go get barbecue. We have great barbecue, sugar fire, and some other ones. So, whatever he wants to eat. Where that show sign is right there, that's Big Mac Land. And um, let's exit out of that. Dog's stomach is growling. And we're losing 8-5 to five now. Pitching let us down this game. We're facing a guy with a shit ERA. Yeah, that was off the end of the bat. He's going to beat it out even though he has no speed. <clears throat> Move my microphone a little bit closer. All right. Come on, Nolan. You're two for three. Park one. Make this a one-run game. Let's go. And that's a double play. And they're out of the inning. Two outs. What's up, tight spot? How you doing, man? Welcome, welcome. We're about to make a huge trade. <clears throat> and we uh, got a good... Good pitcher in the first round, not the one we were hoping for, but we got a good pitcher. We've made several minor trades. Picked up a uh, very good pitching prospect from the Braves for Ryan Helsley because Helsley uh, 
just pitching like garbage. Ah, oh, don't swing at that. <clears throat> yeah, we got Helsley, trade him to Atlanta. We got Smith Shaver, we got Penn Murphy, and we got a outfield prospect. So we got a ton of center field prospects now, so well, pulled my hands in and didn't get that one very well. <clears throat> All right, and we lose. Look at it, 14 hits and we lose. Gorman did hit a home run. Gallegos took it on the chin. All right, we are in the uh, playoff hunt. Shout out tight spot. There you go. And we've lost five of our last seven since the All-Star break. And um, I'm just going to send that game. We lose again. God, boys, boys, it's not how we go into the trade deadline, losing a bunch of games. Lance Lynn. Yeah, we're only one game ahead now. Um, 320, 301, 268. Lars is up to 304. Yeah, we can't trade Lars. And uh, Gibson and Michaelis. We have Mats for one more year. Michaelis for one more year. These two are free agents. Gray for two more. So I think Gibson is the guy we got to trade once we're done with this Cleveland mess. Maybe we can get another... Uh, what can we get? What we can get? He's going to play first. Maybe we just trade Gibson off for more prospects. All right. Let's look at... Cleveland. When is Bybee pitch? I hope his name is Bybee. That's what it looks like. Mackenzie Williams. Yeah, he pitches there. So we got to make the trade before that day. <clears throat> so we got to make the trade one of these two days. <clears throat> Gibson. So we'll make the trade. Fuck it. Let's just do it right now. That's the deal. And I'll move Carlson to right field after we make the trade. Here we go, boys. Deal's done. All right, so now I got to trade Gibson. <clears throat> Connor Norby and Enrique Bradfield. If we didn't have Scott, I would make that deal.
Drew Hackenberg <laughs> making another trade with the Braves. Elijah Green, there's our trade. Man, if that was if that was James Wood, they wouldn't trade Wood. Zach Veen to Colorado. Yeah, that's interesting. That's very interesting. Zach Veen, huh? <clears throat> the other one was Elijah Green. 2066. 270. Hmm. Elijah is a ways off. 90 speed, though. Got like that. Doesn't steal a lot. Hmm. He's gone up in his contact. It's another left-handed bat. God, we had so many left-handed bats. I'm going to do it for Elijah. I think we're done trade. No, we got one more trade to make. No, nah, we'll we'll keep. You know what? I'm gonna keep Brandon Crawford. I'm not gonna trade him. We'll just let him walk away as a free agent. We'll, we'll just we'll just let him go. All right. Here's Elijah. Those two can fight it out for who's gonna play center field. Church is our possible left fielder of the future. Bars locked in, Edmund, Walker, Wynn, Arenado, Gorman, and Donovan, Naylor. It's hitting 309, so we didn't lose a lot of production. Lost some power, but we have great contact, great clutch. <clears throat> this guy... He's going to be our number one setup guy. There's Tanner. All right, let's get this shit straightened out. So, Naylor, first base, and all those left-handed bats. Um, let's move you there, move you there. I know, I just want to balance this lineup a little bit. I know Newt Bar is a much better hitter, but so many left-handed bats. And he's still fine there. Contreras, Donovan, Walker, surprisingly not good against lefties. Newt Bar's down the list. All right, good there. Pitching rotation. Yep, got that. Sandlin's going there. Murphy. We got to send somebody out. No, we don't. We do. We do need to send somebody out. Who can we bring up? He's already up. He's fine. We need an outfielder. He's not on the 40 man, really? Did I take him off the 40 man? Siani. All right, bring up Siani. He hasn't had any call-ups and send-downs, so that's where we got that. Pitching rotation. Murphy, you're going there. Sandlin's our setup guy.
I think we're done trading, guys. I think we've made enough trades. So let's review real quick, and then we'll get in and we'll finish playing and see what our guys are. So this is what we've done. We acquired Barlow for a minor league pitcher last episode. This time, before I started this, we made two minor trades, sending Carpenter to the Rockies for Michael Tolia, traded two minor leaguers to the Blue Jays for an A prospect third base, traded Ryan Helsley to the Braves for young center fielder, young, really good pitching prospect, and a setup guy, then traded three minor leaguers off for another young pitcher just to clear roster spots, Kyle Gibson to the Nationals for Elijah Green, and then the big one, Tanner Bybee, Josh Naylor, Nick Sandlin for Paul Goldschmidt, Dylan Carlson, and Logan Gregg. So yeah, very busy trading. So we're done trading. And we're going to try to get him an extension right here. <clears throat> Four years... 50 million, 52, four years at 52. And he takes it. Bybee. Get him through all of his arbitration. 2.7 is good for me. Now he's nickel and diming us. There we go. 16 and a half million. Sandlin, we're going to get him extended too. <clears throat> uh, we don't need to go five, do we? We're going to do four. 3.1. See if he'll take that. Now he's nickel and diming us too. There we go. All right. We got the uh, all three of the guys we traded for extended. So Lynn's going to drop off. Mats and Michaelis will go away after next year. Sonny Gray has one year after that. So we'll be looking for a new number one at that point. Arenado's got four, three more years after this, so he's going to start regressing. Contreras, we may have to trade him off at some point. Edmonds doing fine. Naylor is considerably cheaper than Goldschmidt. <clears throat> Three million for a possible closer is, I mean, we're not even spending, we're barely spending seven million for the two guys to close out, so we're good there. We'll spend more than that on a stud. He's going to get a little bit of a jump, and he's going to be stupid cheap the rest of his uh, career. So we're not going to spend a whole lot of money on all these guys. So we'll have some cash to spend. We'll have a lot of cash to spend once these these contracts up here go away. So we can go after someone in year four. All right. So, Bybee, Mats. So we're going to play this game instead because I want to pitch with the new guy. So John Gray and Tanner Bybee. So auto fix, auto fix. We lost four to three. See if we can stop this losing streak. Sandlin came in, struck out two guys in a perfect inning. All right. <clears throat> and what I'll do is go in and get their baseball cards from Diamond Dynasty and put those guys. I won't need a, a thumbnail. We'll do trade deadline, throw those guys on there with their cards, and good to go. All right. We're going to play this whole game, guys. <clears throat> and then we'll... Uh, Sim out. We might do um, some more player lock. So we get a lot of game action, but only one full game. Um, but we, we want to check out those those prospects. So here we go. Revamp. Get your Texas Strangers. <clears throat> do we have any? Oh, look at those baby blues. We might have to go baby blue. City Connect. I think we're going baby blue and we'll just 
just go with our normal. Partly cloudy. Making his Cardinals debut. <clears throat> Siani, skip. Don't need you. There we go. We're only two games over 500, so we gotta we gotta get this win. Or we're gonna be 500 at the deadline. There it is. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Making his Cardinal debut. There we go. We're going to have to fix Naylor's shoes because he can't be wearing black. <clears throat> there we go. Get somebody else in center, Jankowski. Langford in left. Carter in right. Garcia, DH. That's what they should be doing. There we go. Evan Carter. Nope. That's On Newt. Ball loves to carry in the uh, summertime. No. Didn't want to chase. Right through the hole. I hate the shift. Oh, perfectly placed. There we go. All right. No harm, no foul. I like pitching with him already. Refresh, guys. Refresh. All right, Donnie. Let's go. Oof. What you got in front of that pitch? Oh, got enough of that? Did he get enough? Get up, get up, get up, get up. Oh, what a catch by Evan Carter. Wow. What a catch. Josh Naylor. Cardinal debut. You're going to have to change all his equipment up. He's got to get red. Get rid of the black and the navy blue. Not a tall guy. He can hit. Ah, oh, reached. Pitched down the middle and I pushed my controller left. There's another fly ball to right field. More of a can of corn for that one. Yeah, right field's a bad sun field on these uh, 6 and 7 o'clock starts. Ooh, down the line and hooking foul.
Oh, don't swing at that shit. Come on, man. Reaching for that, and it's going to drop. All right. Nice little blooper. Nice little blooper. All right, Nolan. The other Nolan. His average is dropped. He was in almost 280 at one point. jammed me. Ball just ate me up. Ooh, inside the bag. Nice hit for Langford. Get over there, Newt. Get over there. Cut that off. Uh, a little stronger throw. Might have had him. All right. Knew it was busy that inning. <clears throat> they need to update the park in this right beyond where those two big buildings are in the middle. There's an even bigger green building now. Huge high rise with apartments and shit. And... Come on, Jordan. 217 is not good, dude. That'll be down. There we go. At least I got the right face scan for him this year. That high fastball. Outside, that's the ball. Oh, man, popping everything up. Rocket right in. A lot of atom balls. No, 
Well, he took forever to get out of his crouch. Good pitch to run on through a changeup, so it was not going to get thrown out. Ooh, helped us out. Yep, your Rangers. Having Carter. Ooh, already made a great catch in right field up against the wall in the first inning. Yeah, one of the guys you traded this, um, Sagisi. Dude, he's not as big as Trout, but he has Trout swing. He hit 30 bombs and drove in 100 runs in the minors last year. But you got a World Series out of it, so. <clears throat> it's always worth the trade if you win the World Series. Always. Yeah, he is. He's going to be a real big stud. Ooh, I wanted that corner. I don't mind walking him. I don't mind that walk. I don't want him going out of the yard. Just stand there and take three, Adolis. Yeah. <laughs> Just stand there and take it. Bend over and take it. <laughs> yeah, this guy's going to be fun to pitch with. This was a good trade, both for the team and for me, using Sonny Gray feels like Aaron Nola. Oh, that's going to get down. Oh, Walker caught it. There we go. <clears throat> This was the trade I wanted to make all along, but when I had a chance to get Tatis, ooh, revamp, I could have traded Goldschmidt, Newt Barr, and Carlson for Fernando Tatis. Rocky wanted me to make it. I really wanted to make it, but I had to get the pitching straightened out. If we had pitching, I would have made the trade for Tatis. But, yeah. Tatis would have been... Center field every day. Newt Barr was gone, though. Could have put Walker in right. Moved Edmund to left. Yeah, I was very tempted to do it. Yeah. I had to think about the team more than what I wanted. I really wanted to make the Tatis trade, so... Am I disappointed we didn't make it? Yeah, it would have been so fun to play with Tatis, but this this is what we needed to make this team better. Ah, reached. Remind me after this game to move uh, Carlson to right field for those guys. Yeah. Hey, Goldschmidt was pitching, I'm sorry, hitting great for us. He was hitting over 300, had home runs and RBIs. But he was regressing, and we weren't bringing him back. So now we got Naylor to play first base, Bybee to pitch, and Sandlin could be our closer. Come on. He went. There we go. No, he's got great, great contact, pretty decent power, 99 clutch. Yeah, 
Come on, Lars. That's going to be in the corner. Wasn't expecting him to steal third. You two go lay down. Go lay down and you'll go out later. Go lay down. Marlins franchise, yeah. KD, you need to figure out the scouting. Is this the right one? Is that the right one? Yep. Go watch this video, bookmark it. Fiend knows what he's talking about, man. Go watch that. Got him. <laughs> Got him. There we go. I was I was slamming the uh, X button right away as soon as he got the ball, man. <clears throat> yep. Reach for that. Got him. Pitched out of that jam. There we go. <clears throat> All right. Let's get this offense going. That's a rope. That's going to be a long single, I think. Right, we're going to push it. We're gonna push it yeah the relay throw kept that being not throwing that all the way to the bag is what kept that a double if he throws that straight to the bag you might get him all right nolan the other nolan good pitch good pitch I was hanging. That's going to be just a single and no RBI because that was roped. And Arenado has no speed. <clears throat> so revamp. These are the Rangers uniforms that they wore when I was a kid, man. I was like 10 years old when they were wearing these uniforms. I love these uniforms for Texas. All right, Jordan Walker, time to get some runs in. And we're going to send him from third on that time. Just enough. There we go. Got the lead. <clears throat> Come on, Lars. Let's need a line drive through the infield. Mm. Do love a high fastball. Not that high. Oh, I reached. Didn't let it get to me and I reached. Early in a fastball is never good. Oh, and then hangs that shit and I'm a day and a half in front of it. <clears throat> Woo! 
three and two. Oh, just can't stay back. Gonna get him at first? No, he beat it out. All right. Come on, Wilson. No double plays. Fly out, strike out, or find no double plays. Let's go. Three run homer would be good too. Or a walk. I'll take a walk. Mm. Full count. Yeah, Gorman's not fast, so we're not running. If I had a fast base runner, I might send him ball. Oh. Late. Out of play, thank you. And he blew it by me. I was looking on the inside half. <clears throat> it's better than double play. All right, now we can get an extra step and see if Wynn can find a hole. Oh, ho, ho. that was home run depth, but about nine yards foul. Oh, and then he pulls it. God damn it. <clears throat> All right. We got to run. Got Tanner the lead. You want to bunt? Here's a curveball. Try and bunt this. And he can't pick it up. That motherfucker. That's twice he's bunt for a base hit. Six, four, three. Got him. Gets the high strike. Let's go inside now. Right in his stance. Walker, where the fuck are you going? I didn't move him. <laughs> Come on, game. God. We're going to have to put Gorman at second and Donovan in the left because Walker's lost in the outfield, man. <clears throat> yeah. Look at that. Good contact, center PCI, lazy fly ball. Oh, guys, I was playing Diamond Dynasty last night. I hit one with Tony Gwynn, whatever that diamond card of Gwynn is. Perfect, perfect, and the guy caught it in front of the warning track. <laughs> now, I know Gwynn doesn't have, Gwynn doesn't have greatest power, but how you hit one 105 miles an hour, perfect, perfect. It was not a low line drive. It was a high fly ball, and it didn't even get to the warning track. <laughs> and we were not at Coors. Oh, that might be out of here. Go, go, come on. Get up, get up, get up. Oh, ground rule double. I'll take that. Oh, yeah. Bam. Drove that low pitch. <clears throat> there we go. So Naylor gets his first Cardinal hit. Oh, over his head. It's going to get through. We're going to send him. 
Throw to the plate is offline, and he scores. There we go. Two to nothing. Arnado scored the first run and drives in the second. He's like, damn, I saw what you did to Goldschmidt. I don't want you to trade me away. late it was late still hit a long way Arnado all right through five that's a high fly ball again that stupid first false step foul uh oh get there get there get there oh foul ball that off good a b by low got him Fooled him with the curveball. Let's come back with the high heat. Popped it up. Naylor's going to get that. We're out of the jam. There we go. All right. No runs allowed through six. <clears throat> Kirby Yates throws some way down here. I believe. Sidearm. It's not submariner, but he is sidearm. Come on, Jordan. You have 80 contacts, so this is your side that you like. Oh, come on, come on. Hey, try to pull my hands in and yank that. It's going to be a strike either way. Fly ball. Mr. Newt Bar, he's got seven home runs this month, I think. And that's not going to be through. Simeon's too good. All right, Wilson. Man, I can hear my dog's stomach growling. She needs to eat. She probably hasn't had breakfast. She gets she goes on these hunger strikes where we, she refuses to eat for some stupid reason. <clears throat> She's like across the room too. Ah, I'm trying to hook that.
impatient at that. All right, he's at 89 pitches. He's out of energy. And I'm going to take him out. Normally I wouldn't. You know what? Let's see what he does. Let's see. One batter. If we can get him through seven, I'll be very happy. Yeah, I know he's out of energy. Two pitches, two outs. Got to like that. Go three for three. Almost. He didn't try to bunt. I got one ball, one strike. And get foul. Nope. That's ground rule double. Son of a bitch. <coughs> Evan Carter. <laughs> Well, we're going to go to the closer right now, which means Sandlin will close the game out. I want Romero against these left-handed pitcher, left-handed batters. Not where I was intending to throw it. That's all right. I'll take the strike. And you can just take three pitches and sit down. All right. JoJo's going to pitch to uh, Seager for sure, and he might pitch all of the eighth. We'll see. Oh, Mason got the power. Just got to keep it fair. It's twice we've hit home runs that were foul. Well, that's off the plate. Did not swing at that. Come on. Got all of that one. Is that going to be enough? Go, go, go. Gone. Yes. <laughs> Adios, Get up, baby. Get up. Get up. Insurance. He golfed the shit out of that. That's three balls we've hit in this game with him really good. The other two were just way foul. Look at that laser shot. 421. Boom to the David Freeze Hill. Giving you flashbacks revamp. Chill out. You guys lost that game because you left Nelson Cruz in right field. You put a better fielder out there, he catches that triple and it doesn't go to extra innings. Don't have Freeze on my team? Yeah. Freeze didn't last too much longer to hear. He did get to tag uh, Aaron Andrews, though. He went to some award ceremony later that offseason. How do I know that? Because one of his buddies um, was a coach for my son's, my younger son's uh, select team. They played in high school together. So yeah, he tagged that. Oh. <clears throat> I'd tag that too. She's married to a former uh, LA Kings hockey player now. Guy was a douche. Might be a good guy off the ice. He was a douche on the ice. Ah, don't swing at that high shit. God damn it. All right. Arenado's three for three. 
He's having a day. Yeah, I was trying to golf that. I was trying to get some height on that one and hit it out. Let's be a little more patient. Yep. If they want to throw it in the strike zone, though, we're going to go for it. All right. Tack on runs. Mason win. Man of the hour. Just got the bat head out there. There you go. All right, JoJo. It's got such a slow motion. Right to Naylor, Gold Glover at first. Dolis. Easy ground ball to Donovan. I love how they're not taking a lot of pitches late in the game here. Other than Seager's at bat, they've all been kind of uh, quick ABs. Yeah, take that. Like that one here. How about the change up down and in? Golfed. Foul. Just missed. Got him. All right, Mr. Sandlin. Mr. Sandman. He's going to come in and close this out. Brock Burke. You guys should remember him from the Rockies franchise. Ooh. Way out in front. That's down in the corner. Stay fair. Yes. And that's a ground rule double. There we go. I don't know why they changed it to automatic double. It's called a ground rule double. <clears throat> Come on, Jordan. Not going to run. Speed and defense are not the uh, strong point of Gorman. He's all power. Come on, Lars. Find a gap. Although if we drive in a run, Sandlin can't get a save, but I'm not too worried about save. I want to make sure I don't lose this game. Come on, boys. Come on. Come on. There we go. Looking for a pitch to pull. That's why I sit right here with left-handed batters. Should remember that from Soto last year. Right here. I want a high fastball. I reach for that. Yeah, we're not advancing. How many balls did you see me turn around from Soto? Smoke those shots to right off lefties. All right, Contreras. We haven't done anything. Oh, is that going to stay fair? I think that's a foul ball. Yep, just missed. Just missed. That was a slider. Now we're going to pull it the other way. Yeah, fuck. Good pitch. Good pitch. All right. Off to the ninth. In comes Mr. Sandlin. <clears throat> 
231 ERA, 14 holds. This guy is great in the sim. Chase. Uh, closers are usually good for one. Oh, that's going to get down because Newt Bar's not going to get there. <clears throat> Bouncing over the wall saved us a triple. that slider and got away with it. Yeah, closers usually don't have enough stamina to go two or three. They used to when I was a kid. Gossage and Fingers and, and Suter would all go three innings because um, they didn't worry about having him ready for the next day because they never knew if they were even going to be in a, in a game close enough to use him the next day, so they just worried about that day. But now it's all specialized, so you're going to have to have couple of good setup guys and your closer splitter love splitter in this game got him <laughs> sit down Jonah two outs Mr. Davis Wendell see if you like the splitter didn't want to chase throw a slider instead chase that and my earbud decided to die, so give me one second. <clears throat> Just a minute, girls. Got him. That's a winner. And that's a winner. That's a winner. Good old Jack Buck. I miss him. Tanner's got 10 wins now. Shut out. Scattered nine hits with all of our pitchers. <clears throat> Hold on, boys. I gotta let my dogs out. Come on. Zoo. Come on. All right, one hit for Naylor, three for Arenado, two for Gorman, home run by Wynn, Bybee.
Six shutout innings. Romero and Sandlin did their jobs. All right. I would say that was a good debut for our three new players. And uh, we already signed our draft picks. Yeah, everybody signed. <clears throat> <clears throat> Green got called up. So Naylor, three three oh seven. He's down to three nineteen. Newt Bar's three seventeen. We can cut down those walks a little bit. Jojo's doing well. Sandlin got the save. Bullpen by committee. All right, let me save right now, and we'll get into uh, this trade deadline. <clears throat> um, let me see. We let me change the slider here on the trades. We'll bump that up to there. <laughs> Okay. Send that game. Diamondbacks. No. I would love Brandon Fott, but I'm not trading you Donovan. <laughs> yeah, I would like Brandon Fott, but not for Brandon Donovan. Yeah. In fact, we need to go to Cleveland, right? And go to center field. And put Carlson in right. <clears throat> All right, we're at the trade deadline. We're not making any more trades. We already made a bunch. If you didn't see them before, this is what we've done. Traded up minor league pitcher for Joe Barlow. Traded Matt Carpenter for Michael Tolia. Traded two minor leaguers for a minor league third baseman. That's a potential. Traded Ryan Helsley to the Braves for Penn Murphy, AJ Smith, Shaver, and Isaiah Drake. Traded. Three minor leaguers to the Pirates for another young pitcher. Traded Kyle Gibson to the Nationals for young center fielder Elijah Green. And then the big trade, Goldschmidt, Carlson, and Gregg to the Indians for Bybee, Naylor, Sandlin. Seth Brown went to the Diamondbacks. Twins got Eli Jimenez. Reds got CJ Crone. Cubs traded Matt Mervis for Luis Garcia. No, we, we're not making the Tatis trade because we made the trade with Cleveland. <clears throat> Newt Barr was going freaking nuts. He hit seven home runs this month, so I decided to keep him. Um, see, Newt Barr right here. He's been going nuts. And if we go to San Diego, Tatis is hitting 289. He's he's doing less. He's doing less than Newt Bar. <clears throat> so, uh, one thing before I forget. Cleats, we cannot have that. We'll go there. Uh, don't mind the blue um, trim. Compression sleeve needs to be red. Everybody else should be good to go. All right. We'll sim this game, see if there's any other trades in major leagues, and then we'll sim the next game against the Cubs so we can look at our draft picks, and then we're calling it a day. We're at three and a half hours right now. And we lost 12 to 5. Simeon with a home run. Six RBI. Scherzer shoved. He's still pissed we didn't sign him twice. 
Walker was leading off, really. Gorman had three hits. Crawford had two. Siani had three. Michaelis Middleton got lit up. Bullpen let us down that game. Let's see if there's any other trades. <clears throat> All right. Any other deals? No? No trades at the deadline? Really? Okay. Quiet trade deadline. We are, we are the busiest team. Okay. We'll send this game against the Cubs. And we lose. 5-3. to three. Donovan with a home run and a steal. Gallegos shit the bed. Where are we at standings-wise? So we're six and a half games out of the division. And now we're a half game behind on the wild card. So we got to play better down the stretch. <clears throat> and here's what we've been waiting for. Da, da, da. 87 overall with 68 potential. I'll take that. Good hits per nine. His other one's got to go up. 95 fastball, 92 two-seamer. I'm going to change the slurve to a slider because he's already got a curveball. Already at 87 stamina. Durability's 52, so we got to worry about him getting injured. But he's my size, 6'3", 230. And there we go. Snuck him out. He did get an A potential. 57 overall, which is a little bit higher than I thought. Guy can hit. He can definitely hit lefties. Um, got some speed. Yeah, He wouldn't be worth hanging on to. Um, we can also trade him off to get something better. Uh, Tanaka was a 76 with 62, so he wasn't as good as I was hoping. Lindsay, that was a dude I said that was a high floor, low ceiling. So he's almost at his max. 72 overall, 75 potential. So he's a rotation filler. Yeah, he just missed. And then Brantley was an 87 in the sixth round. 86 strikeouts per nine. This dude's going to tear up the minor league strikeout wise. Unfortunately, he's 23 years old, not 18. So, yeah, it's okay. We got a pitcher. We can work. He's 18 years old. Maybe he pitches well enough, then he boosts his potential. Figure he'll be in the minors for at least two years, maybe three. <laughs> so, not bad. Um, they got nothing. They had a lot of picks and got a lot of nothing. That was the catcher, that first-round catcher. Guy can hit, can't field. And he's uh, 61 with 72 potential. Holman was a guy I had on the list, but we didn't look at because he was gone before I could pick. These 40 overall guys are just worthless in this game. We got a 61 overall in the first round. Sellers, 59 with 86. Good hitter. So this is a guy you see in all the drafts. Fifty-two, Harley. Do I even have him on my list? No. Stamina is fifty-one. This is a relief pitcher. He's sitting there as a starting pitcher, but I would automatically move him to the bullpen. <clears throat> There's no way you want to start him with fifty-one stamina. He'll be done by the fifth inning. Luca was a center fielder. I didn't bother scouting because he was going to be later in the first or second round and. 57 overall is not worthy. 59 was 73. This guy's 75 potential, 75. He's already what he is. He's going to start regressing. He can play right away, though, if he needed him to. Not on Baltimore. 70 with 72 potential. <laughs> He's already better than his potential. That was a guy we discovered late. 66 was 70. Wolf was a guy on our list. Look at that home runs per nine of 20. Woo! Yikes. <laughs> Batting practice, anyone? 
Kaminsky's a lot of power, good speed. He was late in first round, so we weren't going to get him. 52 overall with 91 potential. This, these 50s just... Uh. Bell, we scattered him. He was way overrated. That's a first round pick. All speed. They really didn't have anything. All in the 50s. Pratt was the first baseman we didn't scout. Dude can hit, can't field, but he can definitely hit. 84 is his potential, though. I still would rather have the pitcher than that, so we're good. There's Venia, 75 overall with 91 potential. Yeah, he would have he needed one year in the minors to get his... Uh, Get his defense in order. Would have been nice. I would have taken him if I could. 69, he's a, he's a reliever. It's nothing. So Vina was good at 21. He was on the list. He wasn't the guy I wanted, though. <clears throat> this guy was high on the list. His hits per nine is too low. 71 with 92 potential. God, these overalls are terrible. 54 overall in the first round. Wow. And they don't sign those two guys. God, all their players were in the 50s. Art Fagan was on our list. He was like in that group. Stamina's a little great velocity and break. Hits per nine's down. Pitching clutch isn't good. Like you say, Fiend, if they would show you the clutch on here. They do show it on here, but they don't show it when you're scouting them. Right, So you see it here, right above the 7, but they don't show you when you're looking at them. <clears throat> I don't need to know how the pitcher fields, but pitching clutch is really important. Potential is unknown because they didn't sign them. So since they didn't sign those guys, they go back in the draft, or they're undrafted free agents. So you don't know what they are until you find them down the road. Last year... Last year, you would have seen what their ratings were, and they would have automatically gone into the free agents. So at the end of the year, when you go to the first day of free agency, you could go in and sort by 18, go look for 18, 19, 20, 21-year-old guys that have no progression up or down. They're just, it's a blank, right? Um, and those would be drafted guys that didn't get signed, and you could go sign them for dirt cheap and, and add additional players from that draft class to your minors. They changed that this year. Man, no good. Here's a 72. That's 62 potential. Yeah, we might have to push that guy up to 72 because he's going to regress right off the rip. Right field, Boston. Give him 72 potential. All right. Wow, there's nothing in this draft, is there? Uh, they'll either go in the draft or there'll be a free agent sitting out there. You don't know. Wow, a 49 overall with their first pick, and they bounce back with a 72, but he's only an 80 potential. There's another 72 that's 77 potential. So they got some organization filler. This one's better, 68 with 70, eh, 74. He's a reliever. There you go. Lee Boyle, 99 overall with 77 potential. So he was the guy that we thought he was. Look at that. Hits per nine, strikeouts per nine, walks per nines. The only thing that's down is his control and his home runs. Yeah, he was the guy I wanted. He was 1-1 on the board. He was the guy. But the A's got him. So now they have Joe Boyle and Lee Boyle. And then they come back with a, an A potential 69 overall closer. So they got two good pitchers. Good for them. Good draft at the top for those guys. I didn't scout this guy. Guy can hit. Can't field. Great speed. Great contact. God, 
God, these overalls are just terrible. Cutler was the other guy we thought about taking. 68 overall with 89 potential. It's almost an A. Dude can definitely hit lefties right away. Durability is kind of low. Fielding's low. Can steal, though. You throw him in the minors for about three years. Work on his defense. <clears throat> so that was the other hitter we considered when we took the pitcher. So they're about the same. The pitcher is a little higher in his overall, but their potential, this guy's two points higher. Man, nothing. 60 overall. 70 with 76 potential. Near Mora, he was on the list. 69 overall with 85 potential. Home runs per nine and control were his big, big bugaboos, right? So we thought about him. Definitely thought about him. Batista was a guy. Remember I said he was a high floor, low ceiling. We were If we had a second round pick, we would have taken him. But at 20, pitch clutch. Ooh, anytime you get a runner on second base, he's going to be giving up hits right and left. <laughs> wow. I think we had a really good draft, guys. Castro would have taken him. His hits per nines are too low, though, especially at 21 years old. But he doesn't walk anybody. So that doesn't walk anybody. He doesn't give up home runs. But his hits and Ks are low. So he needs he pitches to contact and he needs good defense behind him. They didn't sign their uh second guy. Third baseman we didn't scout because we were looking higher up good power. Ninety-three potential, sixty-four overall pitcher. Did I even have him? No. How did I miss that guy? They must have scouted. They must have. Oh, they must have found him, and we didn't find him. Ninety-nine. My goodness. Ninety-three potential, sixty-four overall. Twenty though, so it's going to take him. Yeah. They did get a decent closer, although his clutch could be higher. So, yeah, I'll take that. Especially that since this guy's an A, we can trade. We can make a trade. Might even trade him since he's 23. It gives us more chips to trade for. So, not having a second round pick really screwed us. So, I'll be happy. I'm very happy with this. His hits per nines are high, which is really good. Velocity and break are good. We can work on the rest. We'll just put him on the per nines. And maybe throw in some pitching clutch. And uh, we'll just keep him in the minor leagues for three years and see what he looks like. Yeah. So, we're good. I'm happy. Let me take a picture of this. All right. Let me look at the calendar. All right. We're done. We are done. So, what do you guys... Think about how we did it this time, where we did more player locks, did a lot more player locks, only did one full game. Do you like that better? Is that more enjoyable since you don't have to sit there and watch me pitch for three games? <clears throat> um, you get to see more opponents and, and things like that. So if you guys like that format, we can we can try that out again next this next month, and it'll let us see more teams, or we can just play three games in sim, but... Let me know what you guys think of that, if that was a good change of pace. Um, he said six and a half games out. The Reds fell off. We we're just hanging in there, trying to get that last wild card. So Here are my scouts. I have a 98 efficiency, 91 pitcher with 91 discovery, 95 efficiency, 95 players with 90 discovery, and then we have a 97 discovery pitcher here. This guy, 97 with 95 players. I would flip him for the top guy if I could find a cheaper guy that was as good as the second one. He's at 103, right? But he's got to be 
high efficiency high pitcher and I don't see one man my Rockies guys are 98 98 for both efficiency and position efficiency and pitchers they are they are off the charts all right We are done for the day, guys. Thank you all for coming in. Fiend, thank you for coming in and checking out this draft class, giving me your uh, input on that pick. And uh, appreciate all you guys. Um, we will not stream tomorrow. And I've got a lot of shit over the weekend. Let me check my ref schedule. I think I'm off Monday. If I don't ref Monday, we'll, we'll come back and play the next ma month on Monday. I clicked the wrong one. Let's see, that was yesterday, this is today, tomorrow, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah, next week, the only day I ref is Tuesday. So we will we will stream at least two days for MLB to get us through the rest of the regular season. And then I might throw in a uh, Raging Cajuns NCAA stream. Because I want to get that season over with and see if we can win three in a row, right? We are we are on a 50... Hold on, what is it? What is it? What is it? We're on a 55-game win streak for NCAA. I'm trying to get 100 in a row, and then we'll change schools. <laughs> so... All right, that's going to be it. Let me give you the... Uh, Get the screen for thanks for watching. Let's go find someone we can go raid. <clears throat> and it's going to be Man Cave Hawkeye. Man Cave is playing NCAA, so we're going to go send you over there. I know it's not the same sport. You'll have fun. Great guy. Great stream. Um, get this set up, and I'll see you over there. And uh, I'll see you guys again on Monday. So you can take care. Have a great weekend. Go watch NWO. Hold on. While well, that's getting ready for that. No, it's NWO. Yep. There is our head to head user league with the NWO. There is the link. We have the championship between Miami, Florida, and Wisconsin. Revamps playing Coach Brusso. Um,. I believe that's at, hold on, before I guess, let me check. That game is at 9 p.m. Eastern time. So go check them out tonight. It'll be a great time, and I will catch you on Monday, guys. Mm -hmm.